Hello, hello. Uh, oh god. I'm repeating. Anyway, uh, basically, this tourney, I'm gonna try to use weaker factions. So as you can see, right now, we both banned Kislev, because I think they're still pretty strong. And then, um, I picked Korn, Nurgle, and Slanesh, because I, I think Slanesh and Nurgle is pretty okay, but Korn is def definitely not very good. And I'm kind of going off by the stats here, basically. Things that are, I'm trying to pick things that are a bit lower than 50%. Although I guess Korn's the only one that's below 50%. Whoops. Oh well. Anyway, um... The gods have abandoned- oh no, I'm here. I'm right here. Uh, it just takes a while to like set everything up, like, you know, pick some bands. Anyway. Dwarf Nurg I think is pretty bad. So we'll bend that. Tomb King, I think we're okay on both. Uh, Norska... I guess Norska's pretty strong, so let's go like Norska Slanesh maybe? Right? Because Norska has some pretty good things. They got trolls. Yeah. So it's gonna be either Corn Tomb Kings or Nurgle Tomb Kings. Which I think will be okay, but um, I could be wrong here. Because I know Tomb Kings are not super strong, but they can be. Oh, I mean... Uh, <laughs> I do kind of want to at least, like, you know, have a chance at winning, so... Let's just say no strong factions. So, uh, you know, when I say strong factions, I do mean, like, anything over, let's say, 55%. I mean, Vampire Cats, I don't think are super strong, but... Greenskins are super strong, Norsk are super strong, the others are pr pretty strong. And um, I'll, uh, I, I'll try to pick things that are below 40, 50% I mean, so starting from Chaos Dwarf to Dark Elves and all that, that's what I'll pick. I, uh, I just didn't know Slanesh and Nurgle were, that, were actually above 50, that was my bet. That's kind of the plan. Okay, we're playing Tomb Kings versus Nurgle. I think we're okay on this. We just need to stop his um, Ushapti, and I think that's about it, right? Do we I, I assume we just go double exalted heroes because uh, that's what Nurgle does. Oh yeah, Demons of Chaos. I forgot about that entirely. Whoops. Yeah, uh, next time I'll play Demons of Chaos if I can um, get it. Yeah, sorry, I forgot about Demons of Chaos. I uh, definitely will get that. I think Rancid Visitations is still very good, so if he brings like Arcan, I can um, overcast it, do a lot of damage on Arcan, and basically kill him very quickly. Or even if it's Katep, I guess that isn't too bad. Stream of Corruption is pretty good. But I do think I want some healing, eh, no. If I use uh, Overcast Rancid, I basically don't have enough... Uh, Winds of Magic for Fleshy Abundance, so let's just go Stream of Corruption and like, Children of Nurgle, I guess. Do we go Chaos Warriors? I guess. Uh, I, I, I think Chaos Warriors are not super cost efficient these days, so maybe we just go for like, a billion things like Marauders, right? Maybe? And then what else? Um... Plague Bears, I don't think they're super good, but they aren't bad. I guess we can have, yeah, a few Forsaken, a few of these guys. I don't think we even bring, like, Marauder Horsemen, we just go for Toads, you know, the to Toad spam. And then I guess we can just go a lot of Nurglings, maybe? Because I, I do want to bring Kugath, I love Kugath, but, um... If he brings a bunch of Bow Shopti or Bone Giant, I think I'm just dead. Uh, and if he does bring like a Bone Giant, we can just sacrifice our Marauders of Nurgle and just cap the points, I guess. So, a lot of Nurglings. Maybe even... Maybe a Soul Grinder? No, Bow Shopti I think would beat them. Maybe a Demon Spew? Uh, that's not super efficient. Let's say... Can I get multiple of these? Nope. Uh, can I get two this way? Yeah, sure. Um, 
let's just bring a few plague plague bears, I guess. Uh, might even get rid of children Nurgle, sure, and then just go for plague bears. They uh, they're pretty hard to kill, and of course, uh, tomb kings do have some range, but it's not going to be super efficient on them. So I think that'll be okay. Can we upgrade? Nope, nope. Uh, upgrade this guy, and then these guys are on horses, I think. Yep. And then we get some Forsaken, because they're good at clearing chaff. Uh, should I bring the upgraded one? Yeah, sure. I'll bring these two over kind of near Festus. Just have the heal up and then just, you know, keep healing, I guess. Do I want knights? Ah, the knights are not very good. Yeah, you know what? Let's have a knight, maybe. Because we might need some mobility, and then we'll bring more Forsaken just to have more killing power. And then I guess that's about it, right? Uh, what else can I bring? I, I was thinking Spawn of Nurgle just because they do some good damage, but I don't think they're going to be super good either. So, yeah, let's let's go something like this. I think um, Rogue pl Play Bears? Oh, you mean the, um, what's it called? The Exalted... Regiment of Renown? I mean, they can be good, but I think they're a bit too expensive for what they are. I mean, it depends on how much range he brings, and uh, I, I think it's a bit, yeah, a bit too expensive. So yeah, the main idea here is Festus will try to snipe Arcan or Katep or whoever he brings, and then Exalted Heroes will, as usual, kind of carry the game. If if um if you don't have exalted heroes, your army is a lot weaker because you have no anti-large, no way to kill characters except the uh, rancid visitation. So that's what we're gonna be doing, and we're going for mostly chaff infantry. And then when we bring out the the uh, forsaken, they'll be able to kill most skeleton things pretty easily. We have a chaos knight because you know why not. We got Plague Toads because they're good, and we got Barons, and that's that's kind of the extent of my strategy. Oh, what is this? Okay. Yeah, because this is the actual map we're supposed to be playing. Lost Isles of Colchon. I'm, I'm assuming this is one of those um, get the middle and get like a buff thing. So, you know, I guess we'll try to play for that. We can have like... These little Nurglings go over here, because they uh, Yeah, you know, Nurglings go to the trees, and then these Plague Bears can kind of just stay on there, essentially. And then, I don't know, I guess these guys can like, go to the middle. And then we just do this. <coughs> so yeah, we're ready. Oh, the points give a plus two leadership buff? Oh, okay. I mean, I guess plus two is pretty small, but it could be useful. <coughs> oh, yeah. All right, Nurglings. Oh, what is that? Oh god, it's the big boy. So he probably has the double Necro... Was it Necrotect? Necro... whatever guys, the healing guys. And then this guy is gonna be a, a problem. But, uh, oh, and he's got some ranged, so if I can see his Necrotect, I'll honestly try to kill him first with, um, uh, Overcast thing? I forgot the name already. What's this? Lich Priest? Okay, oh, Lich Priest, I guess, yeah, Lich Priest does heal. He's got a lot of spells, like, is that like five spells? Wow. And he's got Ushapti Great Bows, of course. Great Bows are pretty good. And I'll kind of, you know, uh, sit on the point a little bit because he is going to use his great bows, but if he shoots at my, like, Nurglings or, like, my Marauders, that's a win for me, honestly. And then Plague Bears can go here. They can pretty much fight the, uh, the Skeletons forever, so that's fine. And then, uh, where's our, where's my summon points? I guess here? Uh, I guess this is closer. Let's get... Yeah, I guess Plague Toads just to go and kill his, like, range a bit. 
Oh, he's got catapults. Okay. So we'll send like these guys over because he isn't really defending it. So I, I think I can just push in and get it maybe. Oh, is he shooting my guys? Yes, he is. Or he's like going that way. Okay. Uh, he has noticed my uh, my pl uh, my my toads. Oh, oh, he's shooting my guy. Okay. Uh, yeah, we just need to capture this, uh, and then we'll get this, and then we'll just push forward to that, I guess. In fact, uh, yeah, let's get more toads. Yep, he he decided to bring a big thing, which basically means we can push in and not be too... Uh, not get hit too hard by anything. And then, whoop, they're uh, shooting my guys a little bit, I think. Okay, I guess we'll push in. If he wants to do some things. Whoop, okay, yeah, you guys go forward. Yeah, do that. Uh, yep, you guys gotta go in soon. And then, yep, the... Uh, the guys are shooting me, but you know that's that's fine. Yep. Uh huh. Yep. And then we will just go through them if we can. And yeah, the these guys need to go there. We'll be kind of trying to go through this way. And then we will overcast. This guy, I guess, sure. And you guys gotta go in. Yeah, one, uh, yeah. We'll just do this. Kill his bow shopty, and oh god, guys, get in there. Please, go through. Um, toads, keep attacking, doing that. I'm gonna slow this because I do need to get that, like, distracted. But yeah, I'm basically killing these. Uh, oops. You'll do that, and then you can go here. Yep, that guy slowed down. We are killing that. But now we're going to be coming back because we don't want to get trapped in. And then, yeah, these guys can just fall back, and these guys can go in. And we're going to try to slide these guys in. <laughs> we're going to try to slide these guys in a little bit. Yep, okay, my guys ain't going through very well, but that's kind of fine. In chase that, uh, you got to go in. And then you guys can just run around. So his bow is at least dying, which is good. And our toads are gonna do some things. And yeah, you can see this is a very expensive unit. And he's basically not doing much, which is great for us. But my guys, yep, he's kind of falling back. He's really trying to protect those uh, bow shopty and the turrets and the cannons, but like. He's also sacrificing a lot to do it, so I'm fine with that. In fact, I'll go for the damage just to get these guys cleared out faster. And in fact, I'll do this and hopefully that'll do some damage. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, that, that's okay, I guess. Uh-huh. If these guys can rally, I might be able to do something with that, but not right now. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, we rallied. Good. If we can get this point, I think we'll be okay. You know what? Uh. Uh. Yep. I. Uh. I need to get rid of these, and then hopefully he'll get surrounded because he's trying to um stop my guys. But if I just do this, I should be able to win that fight. And in fact, where is these guys? Okay, I need to bring these guys in just so I can, like, uh, get the debuff in a bit better. We gotta go in, and we are basically got that for now. We will just keep doing that. We got that. Yep, uh, we'll do this. And, uh, oh, they're dying, but that's okay. Uh, yep, he's running away now, of course. He kind of needs to. Oh, there's a tomb guards, okay. Okay, uh... What do we have? You know what? Chaos Knights? 
get in here. I do I do need some mobility actually, so Chaos Knights might not be a bad idea. All things considered. Yep, you guys, toads and all that can go there. And now we're basically chasing down the Oh, okay, um. Yep, if we can hit him a few times, the caster, that'll be good. Yeah, you guys, uh, we got this. Nice. Uh, can I overcast on the caster? Oh, I don't think I can. I will just send that in. I think we're doing okay. Yeah, we're good on value. We are doing pretty good. We got some Chaos Knights coming in to kind of do... Oh, that's um... That's a thing. Yep, and then I'm gonna... I might even use the Mega Slow just so he can't get away. Because he's obviously gonna try to run away now, but... I need to do a lot of damage and just uh, prevent them from doing anything. And we got that point at least on lockdown. Uh, Chaos Knights can come back, honestly. We will try to get another Forsaken over there. Yep, okay, you know what? Uh, we go back now. We are gonna go back. And then Forsaken can come over here. And yeah, he he might outvalue me at the um, in value a bit later, but right now I'm doing pretty good. And we'll just clear out everything over here, maybe. Oh, actually, that's a very good uh, what's it called? Stream of corruption target. So let's do that. Yeah, baby. Do that. Um, you guys can go over here and you guys do this. Forsaken might want to come up here. You guys go back. You'll come in and attack those skeleton warriors. We'll just make sure that um, we got all this on lockdown. And uh, yep, that seems to be doing okay. What are these? Are these barons? Oh yeah, they, they are barons of the bog. So we can heal the barons of the bog. But okay, he is doing a lot of uh, shooting, obviously. He built for shooting, so he's gonna be shooting, of course. Oh, um, yeah, you guys can come back, actually. And we are defeating that, and then, uh, uh, Forsaken. More Forsaken. Yep, i uh, do that, you can do that. I need to get out of here because I'm getting shot by the Shopti. These guys, I guess, can go over here. Oop. Oh, oh, oh. What's this? And then, yep, that one is basically dead. I'm gonna send that in. We'll just hold with that. And then the, I think the great bows are kind of getting distracted, which is good. Okay, if he shoots through the trees, I don't mind that too much. Because, um, you know, uh, if I just stay here, I think he'll just keep shooting there, so that's fine with me. Let's use an overcast uh, rancid visitation just to kill the Sphinx a bit faster. Because as soon as the Sphinx is dead, I think we'll be good. We need some speedier things, so we'll just send some chaff over there. Oh, he's... okay. So, yeah, um... I guess what he did was he unsummoned his very cheap Kateb, just so I can't like, you know, snipe his lord. The, uh, <laughs> the... So, I know that the big things like Sphinx of Usyk Kip is cool, but as you can see, he uh, barely gets his value back, so... Big things are really hard to get their value back. And then, most of his infantry just kind of died somehow. I'm kind of surprised that, uh, they died so easily. Our, um... You know, double Exalted Heroes, always super cool. Uh, Festus, he was just healing a little bit. My Marauders were doing good. And my Plague Bears, they did pretty good, honestly. So yeah, Nurgle, I think... I thought Nurgle might be considered one of the weaker ones, but they seem pretty good so far. Uh, yeah, so next time, I'll go Demons. Yeah, because uh, I'll go Demons of Chaos. 
And then I'll still stick with corn. And then what else is weak? So yeah, we'll go... Uh, we got demons. We got corn. And then maybe Vampire Coast. That'll be fun, right? Vampire Coast, corn, and demons. That will be pretty hard for me to win with, but I'll try. So yeah, Nurgle. And he was Tomb Kings. So yeah, let's just go over like a little build if we can do anything here. Corn. So, <laughs> corn is basically the same build. You just bring a billion Minotaurs and hope they can uh, win for you because that's the only unit that's very good on your roster. So <laughs> you always bring, uh, you always bring Minotaurs. So let's see. Um, I guess in the beginning, just Minotaurs with uh, dual axes is better. But if we do that, is that good? Oh yeah, I did see Turin going like the Chaos Lord, but I don't think it's super good. Yeah, because that one, you have to be near death, fight or die is kind of meh. Icon is basically, it only uh, affects one unit, so I think it only affects you. So it's not super good or anything. And even when he's got nothing, he's like a thousand. I guess, yeah, just... I mean, that is 600 gold like cheaper. But maybe just Herald? Because Herald has like... He's super cheap. He has Revel and Slaughter, which is pretty good and is like a constant buff around him. And maybe get him like a Juggernaut? So he's cheaper than uh, Valkia, but he's pretty tough. He's got uh, good stats, I guess. He's got some good speed. So maybe this is a better idea. I mean, Locus of Wrath is like 40 melee attack, but it's only like every once in a while. Oh wait. Yeah, the cooldown is like 90 seconds, so I think just a constant, always active, 8 extra melee attack is a bit better, personally, but I'm not too sure. Yeah, I mean, Herald is squishy, but with the Juggernaut, he does have a good amount of armor. Yeah, Corn is one of the worst ones, but I do like Corn. Uh, yeah, that is true. If, if he gets caught by something, he is dead. And he's not super fast either because, you know, 62 speed is pretty low. But he is also cheaper by like 300. But then again, I guess he's not as good anyways. Yeah, I guess that's true. I don't know. I think, I guess there's a reason why everyone picks Valkia. Which, you know, she's pretty good. Can I get another dual axe, I guess? Like this? Okay, I guess, I guess that's not bad. So... The one thing I do like about Korn is that his Marauders have a definite buff over the basic Marauders. Uh, I mean, obviously they are 50 more expensive, so that could be a downside, but the 5 melee defense kind of sucks, but they do have 20 extra armor, which is pretty nice. Frenzy is good, even though their leadership does break a bit earlier, but if they don't get like terror routed or anything like that or like their leadership doesn't get bombed they do pretty good damage so yeah i think if you remove the melee defense like debuff corn can be pretty good yeah i mean i do like scarbrand and i did use scarbrand every once in a while but he became worse so as an example so it, look at this wrathful reaper it gives 50 base, 50 armor piercing, and rampage, which is, rampage is bad because you can always get rampage now, and it only uh, lasts for 18 seconds, right? And then if you look at the exalted bloodthirster, he has deathbringer, which is the same thing, but it lasts like more than 10 seconds longer, and it also doesn't rampage you. So the reason wrathful reaper was stronger than deathbringer was because it lasted over 30 seconds, but it also rampaged you. But now, it just is shorter and it always rampages you, so it's like worse. Honestly, if you made, let's say, Scarbrand's Wrathful Reaper like 100% base and armor piercing for, let's say, 15 seconds, that might make him very good, but maybe that's too strong. 
But it's one of those things where, for example, Nakari has basically that, right? Nakari has uh, Wit Stealer's Sword, which doubles his damage for 17 seconds, but he never actually hits anything because of the single entity wanky, janky fighting. So I feel like you might as well make Rattle Reaper the same as Wit Stealer's Sword because, you know, it rampages you. It's like way worse than every other ability now. You basically don't want to bring Wrathful Reaper anymore. Ah well. Anyway, yeah, I used to really like Scarbrand because his Rampage lasted like 32 seconds or something. And now it only lasts 15 seconds. Which isn't super good. Actually, 15. I thought it was 10 seconds. I thought it was 10 seconds. Hold on. How long does this last? Yeah, it is 15. Okay. And also, you know, Scarbrand, the... uh lore wise the guy that like makes everyone mad around him just by default his rage ability is worse than seductive glory because i think they cost the same it's 150 they last the same as this except wrath uh rage and body doesn't give a debuff to melee defense so they do the same thing now for the same duration except scarbrands is worse because yeah you see it says rampage melee defense debuff uh, 35, 15, 90. And if you look at Scarbrand, yeah, 35, 15, 90, except it doesn't give you, except it doesn't, it doesn't debuff melee defense, and it costs 150. So this is literally just worse version of Slanesh's Seductive Glory, or whatever. So, Corn <laughs> feels really bad now. I used to like Scarbrand, now I, I can't, I can't even bring him, he's too bad. Um, maybe like we, I Minotaurs are the strongest thing in Corn's roster, but we do we do need more infantry. I feel like. Uh, is this like too Mino heavy? It might be, but we'll keep going for more Minotaurs. And then Hounds of the Blood Hunt. I think yeah, immune. I think they have a contact effect, yeah, that removes magic attacks. That can be very good. That can be very good, but the only demons in the army right now is like the flesh hounds anyways. Hmm. Removes magical attacks, spell resistance, reduction, except we don't do any spell damage. So that's kind of meh. Gore feast is good. Yeah, and they have better stats. Uh, Rar sk Skull Crushers? Okay, so they can be good if you're only fighting infantry, but as soon as they get stuck, they die. So the reason that the Skull Crushers and the Juggernauts in general are bad is because they're so bad at like getting through things, they get stuck too easily. That's one of the reasons why the Herald on the Juggernaut is also not super good because you think, oh, it's a very heavy, like, monstrous cap that can go through things, right? No, they get stuck on, like, spearmen very easily. So, when, on your charge, you can go through things, do a lot of damage, but when their uh, murderous charge, like, stops working, they are basically stuck. They're, they're, their mass is really bad for some reason, I don't know why. It should be good. This is, like, pretty good mass, but they just get stuck too easily. Yeah, that's kind of the reason why you never see Blood Crushers. I mean, other than the fact that Blood Crusher stats are not very good, especially because you can't heal them and stuff, and how expensive they are, they're also, they also get stuck and like killed very easily. And um, that's why you don't see Skull Crushers. So one of the ways you can fix that is maybe, one of the ways Creative Assembly can fix that is make them a bit more like able to go through things, I guess. You know, already... A lot of monsters have, well, the only way to really catch them is with mass, right? But these guys get stuck on infantry, so that's why they're so bad, I feel like. So, yeah, I think they're cool. They can be good if it's if you're only killing infantry, but, you know, most armies have some kind of cavalry, some kind of uh, mass to stop you, and that basically means you get stuck, you die, and they're, their stats are good, but they're also very expensive, so they're not super good. If you, if you get what I'm saying. Oh, actually, I guess, yeah, I can bring, like, one more Marauder. 
Yeah, so we got Minotaurs, Cultists, a bunch of Marauders, some Horsemen, some Flesh Hounds, and like a bunch of Minotaurs. Yeah, I'll go like more like this, I guess. Some Speed, one extra Infantry. Yeah, that's... that's... That's the corn build, I guess. Good old corn. Basically got nothing. Wondered about the Berserker units in corn, the Norska guys. Oh yeah, so the Brutes of the Hound, yeah, so you you know, you think they're good because they're unbreakable, so they always have their frenzy and stuff like that. But I think it's a matter of cost, maybe, because you know they do kind of die very easily. And I a lot of things changed over uh from Warhammer 2 to Warhammer 3. I think I saw them in land battles because these are one of the units that are like super good in Warhammer 2 land battles. But I think they're not good because they're expensive uh, and they do die pretty easily. I actually don't know exactly why they're not super good right now. Because they're pretty fast, they got unbreakable, and you know, they got frenzy which means they always get this. They get this to the last man, you know, kind of like the flagellants. Berserk... I guess because Berserk changed, I guess? How does Berserk work nowadays? Yeah, for 70 seconds you build that up, and in stage 2, you build that up again? Okay, let me just check something. Yeah, let's see if we can compare uh, Norska Berserkers. So I think their, yeah, their mechanic used to work kind of better because uh, what they have now, I guess, is like they, they build it up, right? So in Warhammer 2, I believe what happened was uh, 30 seconds go by, they get 20% physical resistance, like, straight up, like, right away. And then after 30 more seconds, they get, like, um, they get the 13 melee attack and the, uh, physical resist. And then in the other 30 seconds, they get Rampage. So they basically get for 60, 90 seconds, 20 physical resist. But now with how it works, it does seem to be that they get up to 20% over time and then in stage two i assume they keep it and they get rampage so for 90 seconds they do get it but they don't get it as quickly i assume maybe i'm, I'm not i'm not sure but I, that's my guess oh yeah maybe <laughs> i do know just from campaign that they aren't super good because they do get shot at, but maybe in multiplayer it's not too bad. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring it if I get corn. You know, uh, yeah, I'll bring it like this maybe? Yeah. Let, let's do it like this, and then we can bring it in a corn game if we get to a corn game. Okay, so tournament-wise, we have one more game, so I still gotta keep talking. Oh. Rusto was... Okay, I guess someone dropped or something because they should have fought, but oh well. I wonder if something's happening here. Admin? Sun Tzu. Oh, is, oh yeah, there's like a Sun Tzu tournament happening today as well. I, uh, I forgot it was happening, but that's fine. Okay, yeah, anyway. So yeah, we're gonna go corn. And then, what was it? Vampirates, I think? So... I think Vampirates can have a good uh, matchup against specific factions, which obviously means uh, against factions that don't have heavy cav and factions that don't have shooting, which is pretty rare nowadays. But we might be able to do something. Um, King, Kiss of the Deep... Uh. I mean, uh, I noticed people do this, but I didn't know Salasa was that expensive. I thought she was like closer to like 700, but she's a thousand. 
So it's a bit more expensive than I thought. Does she bring Terra at least? Okay. So maybe against green skins, we could use Silostra to use Tide Call and like another damage spell to kill the archers. Use Kiss of the Deep. Ugh. Because Kiss of the Deep damages everything in the enemy army. And green skins tend to bring a lot of things. So if they have like, let's say, over 20 things on the battlefield and you use Kiss of the Deep, it damages all of them by a tiny bit. So maybe that can be good if I spam spells. And then she also causes terror, so that's good against green skins. And if you stop their archers, if you bring a bunch of depth, depth, depth guard, I think they can be good. Maybe against green skins, I don't know. And then for demons... What do demons even bring? I guess they bring like the... The Nurgle caster? Okay, depending on the opponent, I guess I'll go for Exalted Great Unclean one for the Mortis engine, or Exalted Keeper for the Rampage, I assume. We could also just bring Red Olgor, I guess, right? Because that's the meme, bring Red Olgor. He does have Gorfi, so he can heal by himself. But then we have to bring in a spellcaster. Hmm. Oh, maybe this? Is this too Mimi? I think this will just kill us. Yeah, I think this will just kill us, but we might bring this, who knows. If we bring these two, I think we'll just die, but we might do it. We're, we're, we're doing this tourney for fun, so we might do it. I'm gonna die, but whatever. Okay, I think the games are all done. Now we just have to wait for the uh, host to change it. Wow, a lot of people are dropping, so uh, our opponent pool is slowly decreasing. And luckily, like, you know, houseplant and people like that are not here, which means even if we go a lot of memeing things, we might be able to win. <laughs> I, I, I think that is a possibility. So yeah, demons. Yeah, you know what? Let's do this. Um, what else do they bring? I think exalted plague bearers are good, but they do get shot a lot. Hmm. Maybe festering stooges and then this. Okay, that's not bad. Red Olgor, just to be, <laughs> just just to exist. We got the blue scribes for the random casting. Oh, and they got shooting. I didn't know that. Okay, cool. And then we got... Eh, let's get like a few Seekers, a bunch of dogs, obviously, and Plague Toads. Just just a mobility game. And then, oh, oh yeah, Screamers can be good. So we have a bunch of infantry, and then we just go for the mobility game. Uh, Yeah, let, let's try that if we can get to it. Um, let's get these guys, I guess. Sure. Demons, Red Olgor, and then what was it again? Vampires? So, yeah, it depends on who we'll fight, but I think Vampires can be good. They just need to avoid Archer factions and uh, focus on melee factions. So like, for example, Slanesh, we might be able to beat, uh, depending on what you mean by beat. Huh, man, I actually don't know. Yeah, damage spells, because I know Tide Call is okay. It's a spammable spell. And then... Denizens is a summon that's not as useful these days. Fog of the Damned, Vor Okay, Vangeist is very good, but it's, um... Very slow. Kraken's pull. What does Kraken's pull do? Oh, it slows them. That's that's okay, I guess. Uh, 
Yeah, four damage. Duration is fifteen. But why is there two? I guess that's like the Kraken's pool. Wait, what? Okay. Four, fifteen. And if we compare it to Pit of Shades, if it's kind of comparable, I guess that's okay. Four, fifteen. Oh yeah, that is like two seconds longer. Okay, that that's not bad. Yeah. We might do that. Is the next game up yet, please? I'm, uh, I got nothing else to talk about. Please? Yeah, okay. Anyway. So yeah, Silostra doing that. Kiss of the Deep, sure. Uh, Song of Enthrallment. Oh yeah, she got that. Eh, I don't think it's needed. So yeah, we got a bunch of Depth Guard, and then we will go for... Uh, I guess... Where are the guys? The hulking... Animated Hulks? Sure. And I guess we could get um, a few... Halberds for extra cap weight. Yeah, or, eh, let, let's do this. And then we can have a few carinades for um, certain things. We want doggos. Uh, Felbats depends on who we're fighting. And uh, these guys have vanguards, so we'll get a bunch of pirate gunnery mobs. And then maybe even like a few Morngulls for some speed. And armor piercing and regen. These guys, I think they have terror. They got much higher leadership. They got way better stats. But I think they go rampage, right? Wait, do they not go Rampage? Wait, what? I, I swear these guys went on Rampage before. I swear Night Terrors used to be... They caused Terror, but they got Rampage. I guess they removed it? Did they? Oh my god, what happened? I do not know. Next game yet? Oh, no, I think there's a lot of people leaving, so uh, there's a lot of things that the host has to do. So, give them a bit. Yep. Okay, yeah, so from the looks of it, the Morngulls are, you know, I think Morngulls are okay, but the problem is a lot of factions have anti-large heavy cav, and they do kind of lose against that. But Night Terrors, they used to have Rampage, and now that they lost it, it looks like, they might be very good. I do not know, but they might be. Now, yeah, I do know a lot of people also bring deck droppers for, like, killing archers, so maybe we can do that. Queen Bess, I think she's a bit too expensive for that. Rotting Prometheans. Oh yeah, where's the regiment? I guess we could also bring this guy, Lampreys Revenge. And then just cut a few things to make space for it. Maybe this. And then we might get a Mortar to kill archers if the enemy brings it. Maybe like this? Ooh. I guess I guess buffing the depth guard is better. Yeah, sure. Something like this against a um, our uh, faction with very low archers, uh, number of archers that might be good. So yeah, if they do have archers, we can just use the mortars to kill them, and then if they go melee, we got depth guard on top of zombies to basically kill everything. Hopefully, because I think depth guard used to be super good at some point. But they got really weak all of a sudden, I think? I don't know the exact details. Are games done yet? Nope. Oh. Okay, the games are done. So now... We are fighting... Etan Kenrix? Oh yeah, I should have also changed the map. Oh well. Yep, that and our map is Geyser's Bluff. And then I also need to do a bunch of other things. 
Here we are. Uh, we can do this. Da, 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 da. So yeah, finally we're getting into our second game. Our goal is to pick corn, uh, demons, and then vampire coast, and hopefully win with them, or at least do okay. Doing okay might be <laughs> the most we can do, honestly. Yeah, where is he at? What's happening here? Is he in your game? Nope. So, um... I think the reasons why the three factions I'm picking, which is Demons of Chaos, Corn, and uh, Vampire Coast are weak. So Corn. His um, mark is too bad, and maybe they could get a cost reduction. I think that would make Corn pretty good just by itself. Kind of like how Nurgle used to be super bad because all his mortars were, mortals were super slow. But then Creative Assembly removed the speed debuff, and then Nurgle became pretty good. So they just need to do that with Corn, remove the uh, melee defense debuff, and then just give them a little bit more spell resist, and I think they'll be pretty good. And then demons, I just think demons overall are too weak. Maybe give them a, a bit of a stat boost and a leadership buff because honestly, no one uses demons. Like, for example, every monogod faction, do you see demons? Uh, very rarely. You see mostly mortals and then like maybe the elite demons, like demonettes. And that's about it. Or, you know, like the toads, the flesh hounds. Basically, infantry demons tend to be kind of bad. And then Vampire Coast, shooting factions kill them, and they have like nothing to answer. Uh, uh, heavy Cav, so maybe a unit that's kind of good against Cav, like a ride on the rotting Prometheans with Halberds or something, just to give them something that is able to beat Heavy Cav. They don't need to be super fast; they just need something to like help beat it. I think that's about it. Oop. Exalted Hero of Corn is actually pretty good. If you don't need the summons. Uh, I think they have like Potion of Toughness, right? I think that might be one of the main reasons they're good, right? I believe... Because... Yeah, they have Banner of Rage, which is... Yeah, so they have Frenzy as a base, and then Banner of Rage is essentially a second Frenzy. So as long as their leadership is up, they do get like double frenzy, sure. But it is like 150 gold, which is pretty expensive. And then Potion of Toughness, yeah, that is a pretty good spell, I mean, an item. Because Potion is very good, but I feel like summons are kind of better. I don't know. Oh yeah, anyway, yeah, oh, oh god. Ooh, blah, blah. We got corn, and then, uh... Demons of Chaos, and then uh, Vampire Coast, and we'll try to win with one of those. Let's see if we can. Okay, let's see. Oh god, I'm, I'm blinding. So, we go... Vampire... You know, let's just go Vamp. Demons and then Corn Empire Liz and then Dark. We just go O O O. Oop, what happened there? And then who is on the top of the board? That is him, so he gets the ban first. So the one thing I want to ban for sure is Lizardmen. I think they are... Oh, that's why. I think Lizardmen are one of the stronger factions right now. So if we ban that, 
I think we can have a... Uh, the vampires are not going to have a good time on anything. Because Empire is kind of a counter. Dark Elves? Okay, so Dark Elves actually have armor-piercing archers that are kind of expensive in, like, shades and stuff. So maybe we can do okay against that. But the problem is that shades are armor-piercing and they'll just kill our depth guard. So that could be a problem. What? Ban Liz Korn. What? I feel like that's a, I feel like that's a really good matchup for him, but sure. And then, yeah, you know, Ban Vamp versus Empire and Liz. Yeah, Corn versus Empire could be fun. Can Corn versus Dark Elves win? I mean, the Dark Elves might bring the Soul Stealer Dragon, which can be a really big problem for us. So we might lose on that. Yeah, I'll go for Corn Empire or like maybe Demons something. No, Demons I think would be kind of bad on these matchups too. Lizardmen demons? Why, why? Oh, he's banning all the demons for some reason. I mean, the lizardmen. Lizardmen are really good for him, but he's banning them. Okay, yeah. yeah I think Empire Corn can be fun. Empire Demons can be pretty fun. Do Open Rotters or Warriors of Corn have their place? Corn Gorgon? Yeah, Gorgon's good. So, uh, hold on. Let me just do the bands and then let me kind of tell you what, you, what I think. Dark Elf Vamp is not. Bad. Uh. Um, Empire Demons is not bad either, I think. Ban both dark. So yeah, to answer your question about Marauder dual weapons and uh, Chaos Warriors, Chaos Warriors are definitely overcosted. They're basically worse warriors with just frenzy, and that's about it. So if they lose leadership, they become just worse Chaos Warriors for 100 extra gold. So I think they need a bit of a rework. Marauder dual weapons are not the best, but you do kind of need some like infantry. So they they're kind of the only things you got other than just base Marauders. So they're kind of there more as a kind of fightier chaff unit, honestly. So I think they're okay. Warriors are definitely overcosted. The Marauders, they're all okay. I think. Maybe you don't go double cultist against Dark Elves if they just going to get soul steel. Like they do. Yeah, dual of Marauders are not bad. Whoop. So we are going corn versus empire. Okay. So we are going Corn versus Empire. The only worry I have here is that he's just gonna like kite me around with wagons and uh, cannons most likely. Just cause I know he's gonna try to stop my Minotaurs and stuff. So that could be kind of bad. So yeah, the reason you see me bring like double dual axes here is just me trying to uh, spend my gold better but honestly I might just go because if, if I do that I just don't use the gold as efficiently so I have like 152 gold I could rank these up and all that but I might as well get the dual weapon variant but you know maybe maybe just better to rank these guys up maybe I, I don't know like that huh? yeah maybe it's better to just rank these guys up I don't know because if I do this, their stats are... They do more damage, but that's mostly like whatever. Uh, dual weapons are good at killing. But they do also get killed pretty quickly as well. So, no. Okay, what is a good plan here? No, no. Let's let's do something else. Let's get another dual weapon and then try to bring a dog because I think we do need some chasing power. 
And then maybe instead of flush, uh, no, they, their healing is very good. Man, the Brutes of the Hound, I'm, uh, I do not want to bring that. So I won't bring that. Um... Furies are pretty bad these days. I think the dogs are also pretty bad because they have such low leadership that their frenzy just goes away immediately. But I do need something to chase things around. Oop, okay, he's ready. Um... Maybe a halberd because Empire is known to bring a lot of cavalry, so maybe... Eh. Furies, I mean the only thing Furies are kind of good at is like chasing things down. And they, they're not even good at killing things, so I'm not gonna bring Furies. Yeah, I guess this is okay. Can I do this? Yeah, sure. Let's, let's do that. Why not? So my assumption with his build is going to be wagons, which... Wagons are pretty good. And then he'll bring maybe Boris or the Huntsman. And then maybe he'll bring... Yeah, Huntsman overall to like shoot my Minotaurs. That might be it. Oh yeah, there are grenade launchers. Oh, well that, that's fine. Um, the thing with Furies is that, yes, they're good at chasing them, but they're 600 gold, they're very expensive, and then they just kind of die very quickly without doing much. So usually they'll get maybe 300 gold, so you get like half their cost back, so I'm just going to ignore them. Uh, the way I'm going to get to them is Minotaurs are going to just go through them. That's kind of the idea. Summon Minotaurs, go through everything he has, and then that's kind of the idea. We're corn. We have no strategy. We're just gonna go in, kill things, and hope that we can kill them fast enough. That's the strat, okay? D don't worry about it. Do not worry. Yeah, there probably is gonna be at least either a cannon or like a bunch of uh, wagons is kind of what I'm expecting. So we'll get like three of them up and then like the two of these guys. And then this guy can just like stay on the point himself. And then we're gonna have the cultist go there and do that. So my idea is corn tours go in the trees. And then if he focuses here, I might push in here, depending on what happens. And if he brings like a bunch of uh, wagons, we do need a bunch of flesh hounds because flesh hounds can trade okay against empire knights because empire knights got like no killing power. But we do need to kind of um, shut down his range and stuff if we can. And Valkia is also pretty good at chasing as well. We'll do this and this. Cornitors go here. Oh, great weapons. Okay, yeah, obviously. Oh, France. Oh, healing with France. I mean, kind of makes sense, I guess. Because he's, he, he's bringing healing for the great weapons in the wagons anyways. So he brought France. But what I'm just going to do is poke him with Valkia a little bit with the thing. And then just run away later, so that should be okay. Oh, Skull Cannon? Um, Wait, does the Skull Cannon kill it with one shot? I don't think it kills it with one shot, though. I very much doubt that, because they each got like a thousand something health, so I don't think a Skull Cannon does more damage than the Cannon, I'm, I'm pretty sure of that. Um, let's get monitors from here, I guess. He's got great weapons. Wow, he's got a lot of great weapons. Oh my god. Okay, you know what, monitors? Come back here because, uh, we might need you to kill those great weapons. I serve the axe father. To the slaughter. Yeah, we're gonna just summon another marauder because if he brings the, uh, no! wagons over here and try to beat me with that, I could lose. In fact, yeah, I guess I might as well just, like, move these guys up, right? Yeah, why not? I mean, oh yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, move these guys up. Yep, he's, uh, shooting one of my guys a little bit, that's fine. Oh, he, he has the other war wagon, of course he does. We then need some more... 
uh, Minotaurs. Minotaurs of corn. Yeah, I am kind of fine with him shooting either my lord or the uh, marauders because that's kind of a waste of ammo mostly for him. So I just need to like micro these guys, mi micro Valky a little bit, and I should be okay. Yeah, he's getting a lot of those. So I think he's focusing on these wagons right now, so I'm going to send Valkia in. And uh, I'm just going to poke uh, France a little bit. Now, I'm not going to pop the Demon Shield yet. I think I'm faster than him. Oop, okay. I think he's... Uh, oop, okay. Uh, he's coming back in. He's popped everything, so I got my uh, defense up. And then we'll just move in with that. Does she have the Demon Shield still? Yep. He popped all of a lot of his buffs, so that means it's actually good for us. So that was a pretty good trade for us. Yeah, I need to put this guy's in. That was a pretty good trade for us. And uh, what does his caster have? He's only got healing. Okay. And we have this. So if he's just gonna wait for his like... Because he activated his buffs. And uh, he didn't even get anything from it, so that's very good for us. We got some Minotaurs over here. We got some Flesh Hounds over here. So, uh, oh, okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, Minotaurs, try to get in there. You can go and attack these guys. Oop, okay. And, uh, yep. Oh yeah, and I can also use the Spear over here to do a lot of damage. Oh god, the the guns are doing a lot of damage though. Of course they are. And then we can just chase these guys around. Up oh, there, oh, she's getting shot a bit. That's not good. But yet we are going to be just uh, sending these guys in. Oh god, the guns. The guns! The guns are doing a lot of damage to my guys, unfortunately. Uh, you know, not much we can do about that, unfortunately. Yeah, the great swords are beating us, though. That's kind of okay. I think we have our other dogs here. Yep. Let's try to... Yep, uh... We are doing okay. We might be able to kill that. That's good. Uh... Let's get some buffs going. Cool. Yep, as long as we can kill his, like, caster, that might be enough of an advantage for us to win. Uh, yes, yes. And then get that. Now, uh, Valkia, keep chasing that, that caster, please. Yep, do that, and then I'll summon the things. Yes. Yeah, I just need to chase the caster a little bit, and then, um... Okay, I'm just gonna add pop the shield, because he's shooting me a lot. And then we'll do that. This guy can go out. Uh-huh. I mean, he can chase me with the, um... Yeah, he can chase me with Carl, but it's not really gonna do too much, so that should be okay. And we can just push into his other point because he's like being very kitey right now. So if he wants to kite, I can just uh, run around and just avoid him. Uh, in fact, we might be overextending a bit too much, so we'll just go back here. And then yeah, these guys can just come over here and like uh, hit them and uh, hopefully do some good damage. And we'll get the second Minotaur soon. Yep, we'll do this and this and attack him that way. So we'll surround him, do a lot of damage, and then just run away. Oh, yep, the unsummons are there. You guys can get back here, you can come back here. And then these guys will come over here. The Those guys can go there. Da -da. Oh, okay, he's got some buffs going, so I'm going to run away with Valkyrie. 
or like a uh, dive in so I can like avoid France for a little bit. Yeah, these guys can come back here. Oop, what's that buff? Oh. Uh oh. Okay. So France is still hitting me pretty hard with that. Okay, that's not good. Valkia got to get out of here. Oop. Yep, the shooting. The shooting tootin'. Oh god, Valkia, please get out of there. What are you doing? Yep, uh, that's not good. Good old Valkia getting stuck as usual. Uh, okay. Valkia's dead. That could be really bad for us. And he's summoning a bunch of doggos. I mean, a, a bunch of, um, what's it called? I'm forgetting the name. He's summoning a bunch of uh, grenade launchers. Yep, uh-huh. Yep, uh, that's not the best. Oh, wow, he has a much higher value than I do. I didn't notice that he had so much of a big value lead, but that should be okay. I mean, Valkia died, unfortunately, but what can you do? Yep, just chase that for now, I guess. Do that. Yep. Good old... <laughs> good old shooting tootin'. Yep, Minotaurs are doing pretty good. Uh, these great weapons need to get back there. Yep, and I'll just keep chasing those guys. Empire Knights are doing things, but that's fine. We got that for now. We'll fight that. We should be okay. Yep, I don't care. Just keep chasing. Get rid of the grenade outriders as much as possible, and that's basically all I need. And he's coming back in for a fight. Okay. We just need to kill him, maybe. And we should be okay. And oh, we got him trapped, which is great. Trap the caster and kill him. That will probably help us a little bit. We got this point. So he has much higher value than us, but he is slightly losing in map control right now, I think. And that should be good. Yet yeah, we'll just bring these guys back. We have this on lockdown. We'll just do this. And oh yeah, we were like way behind in value. But now we're actually okay. Yeah, these guys, I don't care if they crumble or die. I just need these guys out of the field. And we got that. We can unsummon most of these guys when they come back. Yep. The blood letters are just going to stay here and just, you know, they're going to die anyways later, so that's fine. I lost a, um, a flesh hound for a grenade launcher. That's a pretty good trade for me right now, so I'm fine with that. And man, these guys still got some ammo, apparently. Annoyingly, but whatever, I guess. And then Carl, France. Oh yeah, I guess I should not put put them that forward. Grenade launchers get in there. Uh, he's got knights coming over. Can we have great weapons? Yes, yes. Over here, just so that we don't lose that point. And now he's going to be unsummoning a bunch of those. Yep. So as you can see, he is going for, you know, the value mostly. He's got some good value, but he has lost his points for like a long time. Which is probably going to let me win overall. Yep, and now if um, Carl Franz gets stuck here, that's also very good for us. And our Minotaurs are coming in. Uh, that should be okay for a while, but I'll send another Marauder in. Can get on summon. Okay, cool. Yep, and now he's gonna sacrifice a bunch of other things to try and kill it. Or like to try and save his lord, which makes sense. Yeah, we just need to fight that. Oh, that's not good, but whatever. We got some halberds on the field, so now he basically won't be able to win that for a while. And we'll just uh, kill this quickly. What? Oh, does he have a. Oh, he, he resummoned his caster, which 
is fine. We're gonna kill that, cool. And our lord is... I, I guess Valkia did die to France, but overall, we're doing okay. The Minotaurs, those guys are dead. We can just keep chasing things around, honestly. Because these grenade launchers, they're, they're gonna get good value, but it's pretty late at this point, so... That's fine. And doggos can just go chase that. We'll do that. And then we can have these guys attack that. Cultists can come back. Duh, duh, duh. We got a bunch of Minotaurs and some other things. We'll get even more Minotaurs because Minotaurs are indeed the best thing that your roster has. Yes, France. Land and just die. Minotaurs, get them. Minotaurs. <laughs> Look at that Minotaur, a Congo. Hooray! So yeah, unfortunately Valkia did die without using her second ability, but I guess that was okay. And yeah, those wagons, they are indeed the bane of my existence here. Like, I think they cost 800 or 975 or something, so they all paid for themselves. But he basically had no cap weight, so I just kind of triple capped him for a long enough time to win. So we did it, Corn. Corn is doing it. We're doing it. Yeah, sorry, I was too focused on the game. I was not reading anything. At least one cannon. Um, skull cannon. So yeah, I'm pretty sure skull cannon doesn't do enough damage to one shot it. You need probably like two or three shots, I assume. Yeah, two or maybe even like four shots, which means it probably isn't very good. Da, 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 the model, I mean, and skull cannon should do around. Yeah, 400 per shot, but it means like you have to hit them four times. And that basically means because skull, skull cannons are not very accurate. So even if you try to like trade with them, you basically don't get much, I feel like. So skull cannons might not be the best. Looks like a helm's deep in a bit. It should even out in a bit when his wagons are out of ammo. Probably win. What was strange for me? Oh no, the the great swords got gutted because of the minotaurs. So actually, I think we probably have some time, so I could go over the replay. Okay, so let me just go over it very quickly. So the reason that the great swords got gutted so quickly was um. First of all, in the middle, two of them kind of grouped up, which means I used my Valkyrie Spear to kind of chunk them. So two Great Swords got really damaged. And then the other Great Swords got run over by Minotaurs, so his frontline died because of that. That's why Great Swords aren't the best, because if you bring something that kills them quickly, they do kind of just fold. So I do recommend, if you're Empire, just bringing a billion infantry like Spearmen and like Swordsmen, because... They'll generally do better anyways. So yeah, if he, if he didn't bring great swords, I think he would have done a lot better. Because, yeah, great swords, not the best. Yeah, so yeah let's go. So And also remember that um, my Minotaurs are the anti-infantry one, and they're super killy at, against infantry anyways. So yeah, uh, let's just skip forward. He got the wagons. Uh, duh, duh, duh. We just try to avoid the wagons for a little bit. I poke Carl Franz a little bit because um, he's trying to shoot. I dodge. I just engage. And then as soon as he um, started buffing his thing, I decided, okay, demon shield and then just attack because I'm not taking damage anyway. Do a little bit of thing. And you can see the guns coming in. That doesn't do anything. He buffed like Reichlin, Runefang, and Galmaraz, which didn't do anything for him. So yeah, she took like no damage from that. That was pretty good. She only got like 150, but that's fine. We got the cap weight, and then he has to engage at some point. So you can see here, he has two units that are going to attack one unit. And that allows my spear to do a lot of damage to it. And then my Minotaur's getting shot, but that's fine. And then they come in to get him. But yeah, let's just check the HP a little bit. I'm, yeah, so you can see that the Marauders are losing to Greatswords pretty easily. But yeah, here's the spear. 
Uh, it got like one third of their HP. That's pretty good. And these Minotaurs are coming in to kill that. And then, yeah, that one I think wins most of the fight. But then they, have, they can't beat the Marauders afterwards. So, uh, yeah, great swords aren't the best. And then, yeah, these um, War Wagons just uh, shooting my Minotaurs. Four Minotaurs. But yeah, you can see here, I got Minotaurs. I got the double heroes and my Valkyrie just hitting them. which And also I speared them, so they're dying pretty quickly. Uh, these ones, they got attacked by the Minotaurs a little bit and the Great Weapons charged through them. And they're trying to basically protect the wagons a little bit. But that also means that they're getting flanked and uh, get killed pretty easily. That's why they broke so easily. And then we uh, managed to trap the caster, but he managed to run away. But like, whatever. Yeah, that's kind of the main reason. Because great swords, you only could bring like three or four here, right? But if you brought a bunch of infantry, it would have been a lot harder to go through. So it's better to bring more units than elite ones. You, you most of the time. And then he has halberdiers, which is a good idea because they're good against minotaurs, but they're kind of getting overwhelmed. Just because there's like so much stuff here. <laughs> so yeah, the guns obviously, they do good damage, but they take let's say 30 seconds to take down a unit. Whereas minotaurs just come in and kill things in like 10 seconds, which is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Chaos Warriors of Corn, you could bring them, but if I brought them, the Great Swords would have had a favorable engagement, and my army would have been a lot thinner as well. So that's kind of why. If yeah, so Great Swords, maybe bring two of them just to beat like Chaos Warriors. But I would yeah bring a lot more uh, regular infantry, state state troopers or whatever they're called. Yeah, that there's a reason why I if I play uh if I play Empire, I do basically go man type. So as an example, Empire wagons, there's like a lot of infantry, and I bring a lot of infantry afterwards as well. That's kinda why, because um it's easier to cap points and like hold things if you have a bunch of extra units. And in that map specifically, uh there's a lot of kind of choke point-ish areas. So, you know, like in on the left, there was like a big hill, right? So I can't flank as easily. So if you just stacked a bunch of like infantry behind each other, that would mean I can't get through them very easily. So that's why you go for a lot more units uh, in general. I mean, the thing is, the war wagons basically do what huntsmen do. So I think it's fine if you bring war wagons, but if you're not bringing them, like let's say, oh, uh, let's say you're bringing burning head, so you're not bringing wagons. So like, uh, let's say something like this. Then you might want to bring, let's say, three huntsmen or something, but you also want like even more infantry to protect them and stuff. That's kind of what I think because. You do want more infantry for the cap weight, so you can like threaten the cap so that the enemy needs to come to you. And then you have some range that if they want to get to, they have to go through a lot of stuff. I mean, yeah, I guess you can bring like another one technically, like... If you go like this, maybe? It can do something like this. With like four huntsmen, a bunch of infantry, but then you have to like micro them to like um, run away and stuff. Oh yeah, I mean huntsmen do more damage, yes, but you kind of see, uh, if you saw what I was doing, I was kind of pathing my minotaurs uh, over the greatsword and coming to attack them. Uh, huntsmen would have gotten killed a lot more easily there. The reason that war wagons are so good is because they can run away and like, you know, 360 shoot. Huntsmen, if you get caught, they are most likely going to die. So um, it is kind of safer with war wagons. If you have a lot of... If you're good at micro, Huntsmen might be better. But I think war wagon is much safer. Because, you know, let's say uh, Minotaurs get to you. You lose half your models. And a Huntsmen all of a sudden do like half their damage, right? Whereas war wagons, you just run away a little bit. Use uh, heal. And you're like... You always have the four units. Like if you, uh, your rate of fire is the same if you use uh, war wagons they did, and they don't lose a model. And they're less likely to lose a model as well. So 
your damage is consistent with war wagons and they do have a lot of ammo like you saw that even at the end of the game he still had some ammo left so he can get a lot of value whereas huntsman if you get caught you do kind of let's say lose half your models and then your damage is like significantly reduced so it's kind of like that war wagons at 50 percent health can have like full firepower whereas huntsman might have less depending on how the models die so I think hunt, uh, I think War Wagon is much more consistent and easy to use. Huntsman, if you're good at micro, can do better damage and uh, give you more value. But if the opponent like dives hard for them, it is hard to protect them. Especially because Empire Knights, they are they are, they are heavily armored and can like block things. But if they're fighting things like Great Weapon Mino, they do die pretty quickly. So once the Minos kill them, they just go to the next one and stuff like that. So you have to use a lot of resources to protect them. Whereas War Wagons, you just run away. You just run away and um, maybe send the knight in and like keep firing. And then when the knights die, you just keep running away. You can do that, you know. But Huntsmen, you have to protect them, which is a bit harder to uh, manage. And that, that's what I think. I'm sure if there's like a really good Empire player, they would rather bring Huntsmen for the increased damage but my micro is kind of limited right now so i'll just say war wagons they're easy so i'll use them and the next map is blow black arc yeah i haven't seen that in a while maybe <laughs> maybe we can go uh vampire coast and bring queen bess that might be fun because uh, one of the big advantages of Black Arc is that there's this middle bit, right? And you can kind of shoot over a big area with a mortar type thing like Queen Bess without uh, being in danger of getting shot by cannons. So we might try to get Queen Bess in. That might be fun. So yeah, once the once the second games are done... Which I think is only here. So yeah, we we managed to win with I think it was Nurgle and now Corn. So we're gonna try to go Vampire Coast and then we'll see what happens. So yeah, anyway, if I am bringing uh, Queen Bass. I guess I would bring uh, less of the Hulks because they're kind of fast so they can come back later. Queen Bess is... Oh, 1600. That's pretty expensive. Maybe I don't bring Silostra. And you know, maybe I do bring the... I think the Vampire Fleet Admiral. I think they're one of the better ones. So yeah, Curse of Undeath is pretty good. She can have Hunger, sure. I don't need that. Opal Amulet is... Hmm, not super needed. Oh yeah, this one used to be super good because it gave like a lot of Winds of Magic. But I guess it got nerfed a bit with the cooldown or something, so now it's not as good. And it is 200, that is pretty expensive. Okay. Invocation. And then... Oh, I can't afford the other stuff either. Oh, great. Okay. Uh, what can I bring? Man, I just can't bring anything now. Um, maybe Noctilus though? Yeah, he's like 13-ish. How expensive is he? That, Hunger, Wraith Storm, sure. Uh, Melkops is pretty good, so maybe you can do that. Because... If you don't know, uh, people like using Melkops these days. They just spam Melkovs and just uh, do a lot of damage to cavalry units. So maybe Noctilus is actually pretty good. I wouldn't be surprised. So yeah, Noctilus, use Melkov spam to kill things. Yeah, because you, if you see Wood Elves, their main weakness is Heavy Cav, right? So they bring Drycha with just Melkovs to just spam it. Or like, um, they bring, let's say, Spellweaver with like uh, dark magic and then they I think they just bring like power darkness to like 
damage her and get some wind. And then use like double Melkovs. So maybe that's a good idea to use with Noctilus. So they use something like this. Would also do something like this with Melkovs. So maybe Vampire Coast, Noctilus has Melkovs. So we can use Melkovs and at activating any spell uh, activates Curse of Undeath, which means we get a lot of healing. So we just keep spamming Melkovs, get uh, army wide healing. We also got Invocation in case of like a emergency healing. And we also give him uh, Hunger. And I think he might do good. He also has Wraith Storm, which can be good at like killing things. Three uses, that's pretty good. We also got the double extra summon, which can help out. So this might be a pretty good build. I'm not sure. Oh, uh, with the Dryad Heroes? Uh, maybe. I don't know Wood Elves too much. Some people use double casters because they're much cheaper. But it does make sense that um you can do it this way too. Yeah, that is true. Oh yeah, they're only 150 more expensive. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. So yeah, if uh, if if Melkops is so good that you can do this, maybe Noctilus can be super good. Although he is kind of expensive, but he does have a lot of extra stuff like summoning an extra guy, and he's got like the Wraith Storm. Well, even without that, he's kind of expensive, but he's also like really hard to kill. He's kind of like Vlad in a lot of ways, so this might be pretty good. Now, is the games done yet? They are still not done somehow. How are they not done yet? I mean, I guess I guess our game was kind of quick, but still. So yeah, that is my goal here. Uh, if we if we if we can go against a faction that doesn't have too much ranged, we might go with Vampire Coast with the uh, Miasma spam with a bunch of Depth Guard and like these. Uh, Lampreys Revenge and the Night Terrors and like deck droppers to kill um, deck droppers to kill archers or like infantry. I think that can be good. So yeah, what else can we bring? We got some infantry. Uh, I guess we want some animated hulks. I might even yeah do something like this. Just because they're kind of fast, whereas everything else is kind of slow. Scurvy dogs, they're okay, but their stats and they they break very easily and their stats aren't the best. So I think two scurvy dogs is good. We got some animated hulks, which are pretty okay these days. They're like ogres, except kind of unbreakable and got armor piercing. In fact, are they pretty much the same as ogres? Let's see. Oh no, wait. Ogres are better in some ways. They got more leadership, they got speed, which makes sense, they're like alive ogres. Melee defense is slightly better. Yeah, they're they're pretty similar, honestly. Yeah, but they got armor piercing, so the animated hulks are pretty good. Man, please, next game. Oh god, is there something going on in the background? So I'm going to match you up instead. You all done. You guys have two minutes. Yeah, see? It's taking so long that um the host is saying, Hey, are you guys done? You're taking so long. Ooh. But yeah, um I am kind of winning these right now but i think my opponents are also like you know not super pro like you know how um if i was facing houseplant with any of these or even if i was like tryharding against houseplant i would most likely lose you know so i i don't think any super pros uh got into this tourney which means we might be able to win even if we're picking bad factions so that'll be fun oh, okay they're done their games i think They did it! Yeah, so let's get rid of it. They did it! 
<laughs> you have two minutes. Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, now we just have to wait for the um, round to advance. But from the looks of it, um, we're probably going to be fighting someone like F-Pod or something. I think F-Pod is pretty good. I, I don't remember too much, honestly. So Hitman is undefeated right now. F-Pod, Rusto, Haliden, who's like a really good dwarf main, so I might just ban dwarves for him. And then, um, yeah, we're okay too. Oh, oh yeah, here we go. Solo SpaghettiO, the host in me. So oh, yeah, now... Yep. Oh no, wait, that's not that. What am I doing? Yep. I screwed that up. My, uh... Da -da -da. Okay, yep. So as I said, this map I think could be good for Vampire Coast. So we'll do that. I think Demons... <sighs> I think Demons are going to lose this matchup really badly. Just because it's one of those maps where um, it's very open. And the uh, shooting can be very tough, tough on you. So I'm going to ban... Yeah, I'll still ban Kislev probably. Yeah. Oh, he banned Greenskins. Okay, so we go... Vampire Coast, and what else is bad? Ogres, not super good. Skaven, uh, Skaven could be okay. Um, Grand Cathay, yeah, you know what? Let's go Grand Cathay as a secondary, and then maybe even dwarves, because <laughs> dwarves are considered forty six percent. So, yeah, let's go for the shooting gallery factions. Yeah, Vampire Coast can shoot. Cathay can shoot. Dwarves can shoot. No oh, Chaos Dwarves, Bretonia, and Grand Cafe. Okay. So, yeah, I think. In these matchups, uh, Vampire Coast is not going to have fun because against Bretonia especially, their heavy cav will just run over everything. So I'm going to need to ban Bretonia most likely. Brett v Vamp is going to be bad for me. Grand Cathay does have some shooting, but they're not like the best archers or anything, so they might be okay. Yeah, because of how, how this map is, maybe Dwarf versus Bretonia isn't bad. Because... Uh, Bretonia doesn't have that much armor piercing, and uh, we can just bring a billion slayers, I guess. Yeah. Brett versus Grand Cathay, and then Chorf versus Grand Cathay. Oop. Okay, now Chorf versus Vampire Coast, I think we can do okay. So, yeah, um, Dwarf versus Chorf, I think Dwarves win that, honestly, so that should be good. Dwarf bread is okay. Dwarf Grand Cathay. Uh, Grand Cathay Vampire. Uh. Yeah. Let's ban the mirror match and also Dwarf versus Grand Cathay. Because I think dwarves can win, but I'm not super good at dwarves, so I'm just gonna say I'll avoid that. So 
I think Chorf is actually pretty weak against dwarves and vampires because their artillery kind of sucks against them. And then the other idea I have is... Bretonia versus Dwarf might not be the best, but it should be okay. Vampire Coast, I think, can beat Grand Cathay just because we have, like, better cannons than them. And also, infantry-wise, I think we can beat them. Of course, if he brings a bunch of archers, that could be kind of tough. But if we bring the, um... If we bring the Queen Bess and just kill them, that should be okay. What's this? Ban Chaos Dwarf versus Dao. Yeah, that's like not a great matchup for him. Chaos Dwarf versus Vampire. It's okay. Oop, I keep doing C for some reason. Okay, so yeah, we can... Yeah, because I don't want to play against Bretonia that much. We play Vampirates versus Grand Cathay. I think that'll be an okay matchup for me. So let's try that. And in fact, do I want deck droppers? I don't know. Maybe these guys. So the one thing that I'm kind of afraid of is if Zhao Ming will just come over and like, you know, burning thingy all over me. So maybe I do want some like guns, like actual gunpowders. But yeah, let's go that, I guess, and then... We do need dogs for sure. We do kind of want Depth Guard. We can Melkov's the uh, Jade Knights or whatever, or like the Archers a little bit. We also got the... Wraith Storm to do some damage. Hmm... Yeah, uh... I do want, like, more shooting just in case he brings Zhao Ming and stuff, but I don't know what I can get rid of to make that happen. You know what? Yeah, just one hand cannon, why not? Let, let's go like this, then. Whoop. Yeah. So yeah, my assumption is he'll bring... Zhao Ming maybe and if he does I just need to like um, make sure that he can't really get to my uh, Queen Bess and then we just wait for his archers to die and once his archers die we can just win the game overall anyways so that's kind of the plan okay I'll be right back Okay, yeah, so I also do want to check that the, um, the Night Hunters, 
I think they're, they're the regiment of renown Morn Morn Gulls. They don't have frenzy anymore. If that is true, they're actually pretty good now because one of the main weaknesses of them was that they would get frenzied and then just like die because they <laughs> keep chasing and like get stuck in like spears. So if if their rampage is removed, that actually makes them kind of good, I think. So yeah, my idea is if I put the uh, Queen Bess here and like move her around here, the cannon will have a really hard time hitting, I think. So that's kind of the idea. Of course, the downside is that flyers could be a problem, so maybe I should have even brought a terror geist, maybe. Just to get rid of Xiao Ming, but oh well, that's fine. Yep, and the uh, Queen Bess, please go over here. And then we have a bunch of Zombles here. I'll have one Depth Guard just to help out. And then we'll get like these guys over here. And then Noctilus can just kind of like go wherever he needs to. He can just come here or come here when he needs to. And uh, the uh, one problem is that, yeah, burning, what is it called? The, the Dragon's Breath could wreck us a little bit. So I'm going to spread them out a little bit like this. And then that should be good. So yeah, <laughs> the one problem I'm seeing right now is if the Dragon Breath uses, is used this way, it does hit everything. So I'm afraid they're going to die instantly. That is kind of the fear I have right now. So yeah, we, if, if I see Xiao Ming, I'm going to just summon like the gunners right away. Just so that I can kind of protect them a little bit. But you know, if, if it dies instantly, then what can you do? Okay, yep, he's ready, so let's go. What's he got? Oh, he's got... Oh, he does have the burning thing, but it's like not Zhao Ming. Yeah, I guess he did that to bring more units. So, we do need the guns. Oh, what's that? Fire Rain Rocket? What? He brought the Fire Rain Rocket against against Vampire Coast. Okay, I mean, I just gotta separate these a little bit and do this. Just that they don't get shot too much. And yep, he is going to uh, do some things. Uh, yep, and then you guys can just go over here and cap that. And then you just need to make sure that um, we don't get shot by anything too big. And uh, how long is the range? 100, so it's not super long. Good, good. Now because he doesn't have Xiao Ming, uh, he doesn't have a lot of healing. Which is kind of going to be my big advantage here. Just need to shoot, 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 shoot. Oop, okay. Oh, that did some good damage, but luckily, uh, I don't care too much because he's not attacking my um, my uh, queen best. That's the only thing I really care about, honestly. Let's do that and that. We got this, and then if he tries to bring that up again. I can just uh, summon more guns. So if he keeps trying to do that, it's going to be kind of dangerous for him. That's the idea, to um, make it kind of harder for him to be able to do that. I'm going to even stop fire at will just so that he can't like waste my ammo a bit here. Because Queen Bess has a very low amount of ammo. So I do need to stop him from um, wasting it. Yep, do this, do that. Queen Bess, um, that's just peasants. Can I hit the Jade? Yes, I can.
Yep, okay, I mean... Yep, he is, you know, doing some damage to me, but at the same time, he's... Not really killing anything either, so I'm fine with that. So yeah, we do this, um... Oop, my, uh, Queen Bess is doing some good damage to the Jade Warriors, at least. We do this... I mean, honestly, if I was him... Oh, wait, is that Satang? Oh, God! Satang, please, no! I didn't notice it was Satang. Oh god. Uh, Lampreys, sure. Yeah, um, you know what? Since that's the case, I do need to, like, um, bring my guy over. Yep, just uh, keep shooting, 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 shooting. Yep, he, uh,. He's gonna come and shoot my guy. Oh, that's fine. Does he have the ability, the uh, shooting? Yes, he does. He does have the shooting. Uh, that's okay. We'll do this. Do that. Da, 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 da. Yep, and then he's bringing a bunch of archers. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, Satang is cool, but, um... He's not the super best. He's like uh, very expensive, hard to super use effectively. Oh god, no! Don't don't kill my crabs. Oh god, he killed a crab. Oh. Okay, you know what? In stock. Oh, uh, I shouldn't have summoned it there. I should have summoned it on the other one. That's fine, I guess. Yep, if he wants to just keep annoying me like that, I can just do this. He's... I think he's overcasting on like a um, 300 gold unit, which I'm fine with. If I can get the second Morngul, I can probably break that easily. And yeah, he's running away from uh, Noctilus, obviously, because Noctilus is indeed pretty good. Yeah, and then I can... yeah, this guy... Yeah, he took damage, that's not good, but... Fire Rain is doing nothing, essentially. Oh, you sure you want to bring that in? You sure you want to bring that in? Is that going to do a lot of damage to him? Oh, I mean, it is doing some damage to him, I think. Yep, and then uh, we can just... Uh, get these guys over. And then if he starts shooting, then I'll start killing. Uh-oh. Yep, the archers are shooting. That's okay. I got this. I mean, if he wants to just wait it out, that's not too bad for me. And I'll do that. And then those are Empress's Crowmen. Oh, yeah. They exist. So, yeah, I will bring these guys back. Oh, Satang's coming in for the shots. That's kind of painful, but not the worst for me right now. So, I'll just say that's fine. Man, I wish I had a cannon now. I definitely should have brought a cannon. Whoopsie. Okay, you know what? We can just uh, go over and kill those things now, I guess. Yep, shoot that. Uh, do I have more shooting? Yes, I do. Yep, uh, he can just kind of wait that out. We can just do this. Yep, do that, do that, we're doing this. We can go in. Gonna shoot that, uh-huh-huh. Look, my lord is kind of dying, but at the same time, it's not the worst thing for now. Yep, and then just go over here. Shotgunning them and then shooting them. So you can see just the crossfire is killing his um, Empress Chroman pretty quickly. And honestly, I could probably just kill his Lord now. I'll even use my ability just in case that can kill. Oh, you guys gotta come back. You guys are gonna lose models again. That ain't the best, but you know, that's okay. That's good. We are slowly 
But surely, winning this over here. I try to shoot that because they're doing the thing. Got this and then do this. Um, do I have any like big hitters? Oh yeah, I got these guys that I kind of forgot about. That's fine. And now we can... Um, oh, he's uh, pushing in. So now we can kind of start pushing in as well. Yep, uh, do, 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 do. you can go in. He is pushing with a lot of things. You know, kind of annoying, but at the same time, that's fine. Oh god, ah, oh, that was not good. Okay, yeah, uh, the uh, one difficulty I'm having is that um, he is good at blocking me up, which is kind of a problem. And also, yeah, the Seitang is kind of wrecking my butt over here. And now he's doing the shooting everything now. Yeah, and um, we focused a bit hard on the bottom here, so now we're gonna need to... Uh, whoop, what happened? Get back on it, shoot that. Go in, we can go in. Go in. Yep, we just need to... Um, push everything back. And then just kill everything there. Okay, we can do that. And we can do this. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, can I summon anything here? Oh yeah, I can summon a dog at some point here. That is going to be needed. Yep, shoot that I guess, shoot that I guess. Uh, you guys can shoot that. Oh, okay, I'm gonna take another shot to the face soon. Uah! Yep, do that I guess for now. Uh, come on, doggos, I do can- Oh god! Okay, yep, I'm gonna need to run away now. I'm just out of here. Yeah, I'm gonna push that way I guess maybe. And then yeah, do that, and then uh, dog and depth guard honestly can go this way. Uh, whoop, that's not good. Man, Satan is just kicking my butt over here. Come on, Noctilus. Come on, Noctilus. Please don't break. Oh god. Oh god, I didn't even get to use the summons either. Feels... feels kinda bad. But uh, that's okay. That's okay. We're doing okay. Not the best right now, but not the worst. Yeah, not the best, but absolutely not the worst. And I'm also not summoning anything. So that's probably one of the reasons I'm losing over here. Come over here, get that guy over here. Yep, um, just move over. Do, 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 do. Yep, at the very least, our Depth Guard, I think, are like chewing through everything, which is good. Um, and that's kind of about it. Okay, you know what? Yeah, these guys need to come back here. Uh, da -da -da -da. uh, yep, more of these guys, please. Yep, these uh, Depth Guard are doing pretty good, but they are also getting shot in the back now, which is, uh,. A problem. But yeah, in terms of value, we're doing pretty good, so we should be fine. I think. Then you guys can go over that now. Um, fight, fight, fight. You guys can come over there. That. That. More doggos to the field. Our lord is dead, but, you know, his spirit leaves, lives on. We, uh... His spirit definitely lives on somewhere. Definitely not here, but somewhere. 
Depth guard doing that. Where did... Oh, did, did my guys die? Oh yeah, I guess they got shot by the bandits. That's fine. As long as... Yeah, that's... We, that we use all the ammo, so that's good. We just need to shoot her and kill her or get close to killing her. We just basically need her to not cast spells and that'll be good. He might take that, but at this point, I think just the Helm's Deep works. And also, I'm gonna probably just summon uh, summon Noctilus back at this point when he uh, gets back here anyways. Yep, uh, his lord is basically dead. We got some other things happening over here. We got some depth guard and all that. Uh, we lost that, but that's fine. Man, Noctilus is pretty expensive. And we're killing his jade warriors now. The uh, lampreys are luckily just kind of just sitting here and doing a lot of damage. Without, you know, needing to die and stuff. Okay. Noctilus is back. He's going to send his uh, those guys back, but that's mostly fine. And yeah, Depth Guard, unfortunately, they uh, didn't do as much as I was hoping, but they did okay. Yep, the Doggos are killing all the Archers. Even if they're Jade, they're, uh, their stats are low enough that I should be fine in, in doing that. His Rockets got pretty much his value back, which is pretty impressive. I, uh, I wasn't expecting it to get his value back. But we should be able to keep it. Yep, uh, duh, 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 duh. dogs need to come back now. And attack that. We're doing good on everything else at least. Yep, got some Jade Lancers, so let's get some Melkovs going now. Uh, when I get in range anyways. Uh, you know what, let's just do this. And hopefully that'll do some damage. And I'll do that. And I'll even use Overcast just so I can like heal my guys and they can survive a little bit longer. So that I can come in and save them. And then even more summons just to get that going. Oh yeah, Seitang, he um Wow, he got a lot of he got a lot of money back. But yeah, I will get some deck boys over here too. Just to get a back cab at some point. Yep, we uh we're we're doing it. I think we're doing it. I think. Hopefully. Come on. Uh, we need more fast things. Oh, hi. Uh, I think we're doing okay. As long as we can keep this point, we win, I think. So, yeah, okay. Lampreys can come back. Uh, come on back. Uh, I need to damage the Jade Lancers with the Melkovs. We're losing point right now, but if we get the dogs in, I think we should be okay. What did I do? No. Go on, Melkovs. And then Omega heal, just because we need it. Okay, um... We're also sending things over here, so we should be able to cap that at some point. And then we should be good. Oop, yeah, there we go. Uh, I wasn't looking at the points, but we got it. Man, Seitang, he, he wrecked us a bit too much over there. So yeah, Seitan got pretty much 4,000 value because he kept shooting my Noctilus. But, you know, that's what happens, I guess. I should have brought a cannon. That was my mistake. <laughs> bring at least one cannon against Cathay because if they bring cannons and stuff, we do need a way to counter it. Our um, Queen Bess <sighs> didn't even really get her value back, but was, you know, was a threat, I guess. Yeah, Queen Bess, probably not super good, honestly. I should have brought just double mortars and then maybe like a cannon in the reserve. That would have been better. And our Depth Guard also didn't do that great, but um, some of them did. That This one got its cost back. This one did very good. That one didn't, but um, there were many situations where they weren't very good in a fight. Wasn't the best like uh, fight for them, so makes sense. But uh, yeah, so Cathay, I think, I think he needed to like push a bit more. Like I noticed that he was just um, sitting back and getting his lord to do the uh, the dragon's breath, but he wanted to also kind of push up his main army as well, because with that I would have had way more things to consider. 
But in hindsight, I think going something like this and then like bringing like a cannon in the reserve and then going for more gunnery and then like something more similar to this would have been a better idea. Just because if the Queen Bess died, if he used his um, state tang ability on Queen Bess, I think that would just insta-kill it. I think that was a mistake on his part. He could have just used his ability on Queen Bess, insta-killed it, and then just like pushed in, and I think he would have won that. But I think his um, knowledge of Seitang might be not fully understood, because Seitang ability, it is good against characters, but it's also good against artillery, like single-type artillery, like Little Grom. If you use it on Little Grom, it does like a lot of damage to him and stuff like that. So I think that's the better use for him. Or, you know, just bring cannons, I guess, but, yeah. But yeah, his Seitang did good. Like, he only cost, like, pretty much 2,200, and he got close to 4,000. That was good. Yeah, I wasn't looking at the chat. Uh, I'm doing good. I was, like, too busy focusing. But yeah, Seitang... If you do bring Seitang, I think you want to bring... I Okay, maybe you don't want to bring healing, but you did kind of see. The Seitang was fighting with a Jade Warrior, and they were fighting against... Um, they were fighting against the Rotting... Uh, the, the Lamprey's Revenge, and I think a Animated Hulk. And <laughs> the Animated and they killed Seitang, essentially. So, you do not want him in melee at all. He is really bad in melee. I mean, you know, you, you think, oh, you know, he has pretty good melee attack, good damage. His only weakness is he has, like, low defense. He seems to just lose every melee encounter for some reason. I do not know why he is so easy to kill. Although, I guess I'd have some of them, uh, some of my guys shooting him, but, like, even then, he is, like, a giant monster supported by, like, Jade Warriors. And he, like, started losing to the Lamprey's Revenge. Or maybe just because Lamprey is super good. Oh, Seitang, yeah, Seitang's ability, I know. Basically, don't bring, like, um, ambush builds against uh, Cathay or Zinch. Because I think Zinch also has it. I wouldn't bring it, but it does exist. You know, what is it? Ma Mirror of Knowledge, right? Like, don't bring ambush against them, I guess. Oh yeah, so Nurexa, you were in the free-for-all tournament, so what was that like? Because I kind of noticed that it's like, hey, if you like Dom and land battle, you can watch, and it's like, what do they do? Are they, are they doing like, Dom and land battle or something like that? I, I didn't know. I didn't read. I don't like reading. I'm not going to read the whole description. Anyway, yeah, we're in the downtime again. Downtime because if you didn't know, uh, a lot of people dropped and then we're having like a bunch of people that takes a long time. So we're probably going to be waiting for a long time again. But yeah, we did corn. We did Nurgle, we did Vampire Coast, so I guess our plan now is to go, again, Demons of Chaos, because people want Demons of Chaos. And then what else is there? What else is bad again? Yes, yeah, so, we played Corn. we played Vampire Coast, which is, wow, Vampire Coast is considered the worst here. I don't like Ogres, I don't like Skaven. Maybe Warriors, Cathay, and Chaos Dwarves? I, I like Chaos Dwarves. I might go Chaos Dwarves. The tanks with the Vengeance Spirit wasn't banned, so finals. Oh, they didn't ban Spirit of Vengeance? Of course, yeah. And they didn't ban Kislev either. You could just fix that problem by just banning Kislev, but nope. Yeah, Spirit of Vengeance, man. They just need to, they just need to change a few value numbers, I'm pretty sure. And I'm surprised they haven't done it yet. Because it's just supposed to be like Flock of Doom, right? It's good against like many targets, but not against single. 
but right now they have the Flock of Doom damage while only targeting one thing, which makes it way better than Final Transmutation. How come they haven't fixed it yet? They they released a hotfix like pretty recently too. That isn't one of them. <laughs> Just change the numbers, I assume. I don't know, man. It it says right here, Ca Warriors of Chaos, 40% win rate. That's what I'm going by. So I think Warriors of Chaos, the problem is they can't bring a lot of the strong things, maybe. Because obviously you bring Festus, you bring Sigvald sometimes, you bring sometimes the, uh, what's it called, the Vortex Beast. Yeah, I could play Chaos Dwarves. I'll also choose um, Demons of Chaos. And then, like, something else, I guess. And then, you know, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I do like Chaos Dwarves. I, I don't think they're super bad. It's just that their um, artillery gets out-traded by any other artillery. So, you, <laughs> you, you can't out-artillery anyone. So... I mean, I guess against Empire, do you just go, like, mass Dwarf Warriors? Kind of like how, um... Kind of like how Dwarves usually do? Maybe? I don't know. Actually, what's a fun Chaos Dwarf thing to do? I guess Dreadquakes, right? Dreadquakes are fun, but they're not like super good because I think their Hold Fire is not super useful. It doesn't like activate very well. So yeah, we'll get a Dreadquake maybe if we if we um <laughs> if it isn't too janky or if the matchup isn't too bad, we'll get a Dreadquake and we'll see what happens. I guess. Yeah, that's what I assume. Kind of like the dwarves where you rush them down. Yeah. Hmm, man. Kind of funny how the um, Chaos Dwarves, you know, the like heavy machinery faction, like the ones that's like, oh yeah, our engineering is stronger than the dwarves because we got demon souls in them. They lose to any other artillery trade. That's pretty, uh, pretty funny. I mean, you know, against, like, mass infantry, obviously, Dreadquake might be good, especially in campaign, but, like, on multiplayer, it's just so hard to use Dreadquake right now. And Kadai... Kadai are, like, pretty okay, right? Are Kadai okay? Let's compare them to Croxagores. Wow, um... They have less armor, less HP by a little bit. Stats are basically better, but they are kind of like 500 gold extra expensive. Wow. Yeah, Chorf's just <laughs> losing the artillery duel. That's like, oh, the dwarves lose the artillery duel to greenskins. Like, what? No, that shouldn't happen. I think quite literally. I think the greenskins can bring like double Doom Divers, and that would probably beat them, right? Because Doom Divers are actually super accurate and very good at sniping like single targets for some reason. So if it's like two Doom Divers versus a Death Streak, I think Death Streak loses, I assume. <laughs> I think that's what happens. Let's just try try that real quick. Cause we're just waiting for whatever now. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Yeah, I swear if if the <laughs> if the Doom Divers beat the Death Streaker, that'll be pretty hilarious. You know what? Yeah, let's go one Doom Diver versus one Death Streaker. Let's try that. Now let's do this and this. You do that. All right, the uh, Doom Diver killed a Death Shriek. Oh, actually, in this case, would the single target be better or scatter shot? I wouldn't know. Death Shriek has more range though and can kite them. Oh, 400. Oh yeah, 420. Yeah, that is true. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that one shot like quarter health the Death Shriek. Oh my god, that's that's pretty good. 
Oh, the, but but each shot does kill a model, it seems. So it is kind of even. But like, conceptually. Conceptually. Goblins, like, flying through the air does a lot of damage to Death Streak for some reason. Yeah, it seems each shot kills the model. So now he'll get to two models. Yeah, that is... Okay, no, the Death Streak does win in that regard then. And it is true that the Death Streak can, like, kite around, like, fire... Run away, fire, but it is pretty funny how good the Doom Divers are at damage. Wow. Hmm. But yeah. Bam, and this, yeah, last model. I mean, Death Streak definitely wins it, but it's just because these things die. If they don't die immediately, then the Death Streak, I think, would lose. So it is kind of funny. Yeah, that shot should kill the last slingshot. Yeah, there you go. That's a good... Oh my god. That was actually not bad. Wow. The uh, the shots are pretty good, but at the same time... These guys got 600... Basically 700 gold somehow. <laughs> the goblins flying at the uh, Doom Divers... I mean, the Death Shrieker somehow is pretty good. I'm surprised at that anyways. Yeah. Okay, the games are done. Hopefully we get to the next game. Now that the destruction is over, let's hope for the next game. Next game? Oh yeah, there we go. We're against... Did we not fight him before? Wait. Oh, we fought him before, we're fighting him again, that's fine. I guess he's like... Wait, why are we fighting him again? Eh, whatever, that's, that, that's fine. Oop, no, not the multiplayer campaign. What am I doing? Okay, we're fighting him again. We fought him before, I forgot what he was playing. And then the map is... Uh, shambling... Bog? Was he the Empire? He might have been the Empire. Yeah, let me just double check something real quick. Hilliden and me. Oh, uh, it's I think it's because Hilliden and F Pot are fighting, so they're both undefeated. So that's why I'm fighting him again. Yep, there you go. But yeah, I'll be fighting him. Yeah, I think this guy was the Empire. I think we were Empire versus Corn. I think he he went for like a very um great weapons heavy. So yeah, if I go mass, maybe he'll hate that. I don't know. And what map is this? I don't know. I don't fucking know. Okay, let's see. So we already picked Corn and Vampire Coast and stuff. So let let's go Chorf. Actually, what else is weak? Um. Chorf. Oh, maybe Dark Elves? Uh, I don't like Dark Elves too much. Um, yeah, you know what? Yeah, Chorf. Maybe Dwarf. <laughs> and like, Grand Cathay maybe? No, uh, we, Demons, yeah. Demons, Chorf. And then... Yeah, Warriors. Let's go Warriors. Yeah, Band Kiss Lift. Get that out of here. So yeah, we're gonna go Demons, Chorf, and Warriors then. Yeah, uh, Chorf, and then Demons, and then Warrior. Oh, okay, he picked Lizardmen, so we're definitely banning Lizardmen. Uh, and then he got Tomb King, he got Liz, and he got Emp again. And uh, who is the top? I'm the top. So, ban Lizardmen versus Chorf for now. I'm just going to ban all the Lizardmen. Get them out of here. 
And this map is like... I'm guessing we start here and they start there, so it's like pretty even. Oh, I, uh, oh, oh wait. It, I think we spawn here, right? In the corner. That's why this middle bit is here, so that cannons don't do good. So we don't want a cannon faction too much. Okay, Tomb King, Warriors, because there's Burning Head, I guess. Uh, another ban. So yeah, as it turns out, if you micro the Death Streak, you can beat the Doom Diver. But if you had to micro to outtrade Doom Diver, which is, by the way, goblins being flung to it, then that's pretty bad for you. Oh man, it's getting warm here. My computer's heating up. Man, why is he banning lizards? I was gonna ban lizards. Because lizards, I don't want to deal with them, but hey, if he's doing that, sure. Liz Warrior, and then Empire Demons is fine. Chorf Empire, I think, is fine. Tomb King Chorf is, I think, pretty good for me. Demons? Eh, yeah. Liz Warriors, and then maybe Emp Warriors? Liz and Emp Warriors? See, I think Chorfs are actually pretty good in this map because, as I said, I think we can, like, shoot over things. So, we'll see how that goes. Uh-huh. Okay, ban Empire Demons. And then Tomb King Demons. Why? He doesn't like demons, apparently. Okay, so which is easier for me? Oh, actually, yeah, we might go... We play Chorf versus Tomb Kings. Because we have Burning Head, so we're just gonna Burning Head them. That's the plan. That's the, uh, that's always the plan against, uh, Tomb Kings. I think in this regard, we go... Sorcerer Prophet with Fire. And Burning Head, obviously. Chalice, yes, that's pretty good. Uh, Kindle Flame, I I think... We don't need a Bale Taurus because that's like extra, like what, 600 gold up more expensive? Jesus. Although the stats are much better too. Hmm. Now I think we just go Great Taurus to save some money. And then we go for a Death Streaker because I think this map we spawn here and they spawn here. So if we just park ours here, you can just shoot the uh, Great Bows or whatever anyways. And we might even bring like a second one in the reserve. Then we can have um, a bunch of Chaos Dwarf Warriors. Maybe like even Infernal Guard or something? Uh, yeah, maybe let's go like... Let's go Elite, like Infernal uh, Infernal Iron Swarms. And then like we can go for a few Goblins. And we got the Death Street, we got the Elite Infantry, we got the thing, we got some Bull Centaurs, we got another one. We got some things. We want some of these guys to be kind of like the speedy, fast cap that we might need. And I think that's about it, right? What else do we bring? More goblins, maybe? Sure. Let's go with that. Elven faction? Uh, but here's the thing. I hate elven factions. I mean, I'm okay with high elves, but... I don't like wood elves. Dark elves are also kind of okay, but... I don't like elves in general that much because... They seem kind of weird for me. I don't know. They're like...
kind of expensive, so I can't like. And I guess that's the same thing with corn. They're expensive. I don't know. I just don't like elves. It. I think it's because I get kited by elves a lot. As in you, Norexa, you kite me with elves and stuff. So I'm like, I don't want to deal with elves. I hate elves. I think that's why I hate elves. Oh yeah, wait, in the Sun Tzu tournament, right? Uh... Sun Tzu? Is that not it? Wait, how is it called then? Hmm? Wait, what's their channel called again? I thought it was Sun Tzu, but um, I can't find them. Uh, stream? Okay, I just can't find it. Yep, so we spawn here, which means we can put our uh, Death Street kind of here-ish, and then they can just shoot over the uh, mountain, hopefully, or it might not go over the mountain, who knows. So we'll just have to try our best here, and then kill the um, Ushapti. So he might bring Ushapti, and uh, if we just shoot them for like 16 shots, I guess it would kill them each, I think, each model. So that's kind of the plan. Yep, so here's this big old uh, castle thing. So I'll just put my Death Drake here. Hopefully it'll shoot over, and like over that way, and uh, he'll be protected, and then I can just... Uh, Make sure to win over time. Yep, that one I'm gonna send my elite squad over there. And he basically can't kill them except with great bows. And then these guys can just kinda go over to here. And then Death Street can kinda stay here to try and be protected. And we got this. So yeah, that's about it. <coughs> And uh, the only real thing that he can do to like kill all these is like Ushapti, and I should be able to beat that. Okay, yeah, Ushapti. Oh, he got Bone Giants. Okay, uh, okay, he got double Bone Giants. Let's see if it at least like shoots it. And I'll I'll uh, put the Infernal Swarms here because I don't want him to like get my guys. Yeah, Death Streaks are coming in. Hopefully it goes over. Yep, there it is. Wow, just look at that. Oh yeah. Bam. And I'll summon another one because he brought two bone giants. What has he got? Arcan. Yep, he got Spirit Leech and that. That's fine. Now we can get a... Uh... You can get a second one up soon. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, we need to uh, get out of there. Yep, and then if he wants to, you know, come over here this way. I'll just do it this way and then that way and I'll just cap that. Oh, the sneaky snakes. Let's do this and see if that helps. And kills it. Oh, I think I missed it a little bit, but that's fine. Oh, he's uh, spirit leeching me a little bit, but I think I'm getting the healing a little bit as well. That's not the worst. Yep, we can just keep doing that. Uh huh. huh. Oh, oh god, the uh, thing is shooting. Nope, 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 nope. And then um, we will probably actually push that way too, because he can't like stop me that way. Uh huh. And then I might want to get the. Um, whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And then I want to get the anti-large just so I can um, kill his guys, I think. Let's do that, and then they can shoot, and then I'll come back. Yeah, 
Yep, we're doing that. Cool, cool. I'll send that over. Oh, that's a good burning head going over there. Nice. And then we can do this. Oh, oh god. Don't uh, shoot my guys, please. We got some great weapons now. And we can do this. Oop, oh god, he's shooting me again. Oh yeah, my um, Infernal Iron Swords are going to get over there. And he basically won't be able to do anything against me for a while. So that's uh, the plan. Yes. Yes. And he's got catapults, but that's fine. Oh, okay. You know what? These guys can come to the back. Oh, yeah, because they're getting terrified now. Yep. And we'll just do this. Yep, that's dying. Good, good. We are killing basically everything he has other than that. And then, yep, he can use Fate of Buna, but uh, that's mostly fine. I'll even send the other guys over there just so that I can, like, cap that entirely. Yep, do that. Um, yep, you guys go in here and do that. Okay, okay. And do this. Yep, we caught that. Uh, Chaos Dwarves come back. Do that. Uh, we'll wait for the other one again. Oh, okay, uh, that might have been a mistake. That might have been a very big mistake, in fact, I will say. But um, if he just gets distracted by that, it's not the worst either, I guess. You know what? Let's go that way. Yep, and then uh, another anti-large, because he's just going to bring a lot of large, I think. And then, uh, yep, just keep shooting that. Oh, oh god. The, uh, the, okay, you know what? That That's actually a good thing for me, because, um, now I can just go over here and, uh, get that, I think. Yep, okay, uh, I'll burning hit these guys, I guess, sure. Are these guys summons? I think they're the real ones. Oh god. I think I got trapped again, which is uh, pretty bad for me, but I should be mostly okay. Yep, just uh, get me out of here, please. Yep, these are summoned, so I don't care. I'm just gonna come over here. These guys need to come over there. Just need to get out of this place. Okay, yep. And then just go over here. Yep, yep. Uh, I got that. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, oh my god. He has been shooting my guy. That's not good. Okay, yep, uh, stop firing at Arcan. Just stay there. And we can do this. Uh, need something up there. Okay, cool, that came back. Cool, keep shooting that. And then, um, do that. Okay, cool. Yep, uh, we should be able to win that at least. We just need to burning head that and kill everything, I guess. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh -huh. And then we just yet need to uh, keep going. He is doing some things, but that's okay. Oop. Oh, that wasn't... Oh, God, that wasn't a part of my uh, group. That's okay. That's summons? Yeah, that's summoned. That's whatever. Yeah, we got that. Now we just need to come in here and kill that. We're killing this as well. Running in, running in. And we are kind of winning. Yeah, I think we are kind of winning. Man, I have no mana though, that's not good. We just need to make sure that these guys don't get too much value, which is... Oh, and he's a... Uh, man, I wish I had a burning head right now, but I don't. I uh, 
Can I waste it at all? That was my bad. Whoopsie doopsie. Yep, do that and that. Da, 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 da. Okay, cool. And then my um, my guy. And then I got the other big guys. And then we go here. Yep, let's go. You can just uh, chase these guys, I guess. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, it says that the Tomb Kings has more value than me, but I think we're doing pretty good. Oh, now I have Burning Head, okay. Well, that, that's fine, I guess. Burning Head. Oh, yep, these guys. Yep, da, da. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, God, he's doing some pretty good moves there. He was, like, moving them around and then doing that, but uh, as long as I get out, that's not too bad. Yep, hit that uh, once, and then I can just, you know... Yep, good, that's crumbling, that's dying. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes. Okay, we can just kind of like sit back and like, uh... Wait for him to die at this point, honestly. And then, yeah, the Death Shrieker can now attack him. And then if we go... Oh, uh, yeah, I guess we can just summon them this way. Just have like a bit more cap weight, even though they're not super strong. Yep, do that. And then, uh, you know what, in fact... Let's do this. Uh, he likes to trap me, so let's trap him. Oop, oh, okay. And that's fine. Even if he runs away, the Death Streak should hit him a few times. And uh, that should be okay for me. Oop, okay, never mind. Uh, in fact, let's just fall back at this point. We are kind of losing a little bit. So if he wants to do it like that, we can... Oh yeah, and actually... What is this? What is this formation? Burning hit that! Burning head! Oh yeah, look at that damage. Oh god. Oh yeah. Yep, and then we need some more of these guys, I guess. And then, um, yeah, you can do that, I guess, and do that. Yep, we do this and this. Da -da -da -da. Yep, some of our dwarf warriors are coming back. Yes, we are doing it. And yeah, these um, Infernal Iron Swarms, I think they're so tough that I think the uh, Ushapti can't beat them. So that should be good for us. Yeah, we're doing that. And then you guys can just... Um, you guys can just go over here and just kill that, I think. That's fine. We got these, we got these. And then, yeah, you guys can go attack that. These guys can do this. Okay, fine. You can uh, do that, I guess. And then what can we summon? Uh, can we summon some dwarves? Nope, I'll summon another Death Shriek because they're doing pretty good so far. Yep, we do that. We're doing this. Cool, cool. Yep, do that. Da, 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 da. And we got another burning head on our side. Uh, uh, we don't need a burning head right now, I guess, so that's fine. We'll do this. We got the double death streaks firing. One of them is done, so we'll unsummon it. Now, we might even summon the um, Infernal Iron Swarms, honestly, at this point. Yep, that we have. Oh, is he doing the... Oh, God, he's doing the humping animation. No, please! Yep, 
Yep, I mean, he's standing behind it, but I think it'll still shoot over, right? Oh, nope. Okay, that's a good, that's a good plan. Uh, you know what? Yeah, Infernal Iron Swarms, get in there. Uh, you, I, I mean, I guess you can just like shoot that at this point, I guess. That's fine. You can get unsummoned, then you'll come back. Uh, uh, he's doing a lot of cavalry right now, but that's fine. Yep, and then you can just keep shooting him again because he decided to come back now. And uh, yeah. Bam! Okay, that did a lot more damage to me, I think, but that's fine. Yep, I think we got this, most likely. Just saying. Yeah, once our, like, Infernal Iron Swarms get there, he basically can't do anything. So we should be good. Oh man, these freaking horse archers are, uh... A pain in the butt, though. They got like a thousand value on some of them. Okay, there you go. Yeah, Burning Head is uh, very balanced, especially against Tomb Kings. So yeah, he brought the Double Bone Giant to obviously try and like uh, snipe my uh, artillery. But um, that actually just made it easier for me because... Just push in, shoot. These guys did a lot of damage, but luckily my guy can just heal. And then our Infernal Iron Swarm just kind of stood there and just... You know, tanked it. And, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, this, I think, came down to the fact that I knew this map had the, um... Had a giant, like, thing in the middle. So my, my Death Streaks were able to do that. That, uh... That just because I knew about it. Because at first I was like, wait, do we, like, spawn on this, these side? Like, at the sides here? But no. We spawn, like, literally here. Which means mortar type units like the Death Shrieker there was like super effective. So that was fun. Anyways, we did it. We're in the finals. With our not the best factions, but like, you know, still, we're doing okay. Oh, he did have a Ushap the Great Foe. He got the um, Regiments of Renown. Yeah, Chosen of the Gods. Yeah, that one. I forget their name. Chosen of the Gods. Yeah, but the thing was, uh, once my... Uh, what is it called? Bull Centaurs? Yeah, Bull Centaurs with Great Weapons got back there. He had to summon a billion things to like defend it. But um, my Lord just came there and killed them because once they do get caught in melee, they're not the best. And he had the Sepulchral Stalkers and the Bone Giants in the middle. So it was kind of hard for him to defend all those ranged factions because he had, you know... He had, first of all, double Bone Giants. He then brought in the Great Bows and he also had like the, uh... These guys on the first build and he also brought like a Catapult. That was just like way too much stuff for him to defend with. So he basically brought this. Double Bone Giants, a Sepulchral Stalker, and he brought like the Chosen of the Gods later, and like Screaming Skull Catapults later. He also had the um, Horse Archers. Like that's a lot of ranged, which basically means you lose initiative on capturing the points. Which, you know, he was kind of winning in points a little bit, but I just like... <laughs> I just triple capped him for like a while, so yeah. And also Burning Head. Burning Head is like the most powerful spell against the uh, Tomb Kings, so yeah. And now we have to wait for a long time again because we're just gonna be waiting. I mean, you know, we're we're probably we're definitely in the finals, but uh, I don't know if I can keep up the worst factions and trying to win thing because. I think I'm going to lose at some point, but we'll stick with it. Yeah, Halidon and F-Pod are like undefeated so far, so whoever wins definitely gets in. The other person probably gets in too, right? Uh, no, if F-Pod if loses, he might not be able to get in, maybe. Uh, Rusto, I don't know, Rusto probably won't get in very well. 
No, he can't get in because he lost me twice. V anime. Wait, am I blind? Where is he? Oh, I guess he left. Okay. Oh yeah, a lot of people left, so I guess we might not have... Yeah, it might be a really weird Final Four because a lot of people left, so these scores might be kind of weird. But yeah, other than that... Now that we played Chorves, we need to play Demons of Chaos, definitely. Um, Cathay I might play, although I'm not super confident with that. Uh, what else is there? I don't know. Whatever. So I think this might be too meme -y. I mean, I like memes, but this is a bit too much, so... Depending on the faction, we'll probably go, like, Great Unclean one. Because his Mortis is still pretty good. Pestilent Decay, and then, like, you know, Rancid Visitations. And then, like, Stream of Corruption, I guess. And, now uh, I guess I want... I want... I want Fleshy Abundance at some point. Maybe get rid of Children Nurgle. Something like this, and then... Maybe another one of this, and then like this? Maybe. Oh, actually, a lot of people go for like, double Blood Reapers. Is that a good idea? Yeah, because I noticed a lot of people go like, double Blood Reapers. But the one problem is... You know, they're not bad, but I don't think they're super good either. They can't kill characters. They got the Locus of Ab Abjuration, which can be kind of good. But it only really is good against like certain factions, I feel like. Because, you know, if you're against Bretonia... No, wait, I guess if you're against Tomb Kings, there is like the... Uh, what's it called? Uh, Fate of Buna. They might use that on the Festering Stooges or on the uh, Seekers. So I guess you want to protect them a little bit, but even then... In fact, Seekers, are they good enough? Uh, I might go like even more Screamers, got the Anti-Inf. Barons of the Bog, maybe. Yeah, maybe like this. We have basically no infantry, but... You know, Nurglings will basically die and we can resummon them anyway, so that's not too big of a deal. Blue Horrors are like... Eh. Their combat stats are wow, they're worse than they're worse than Nurglings, I did not know that. Huh. Maybe blazing squeechers? Maybe we can go like this? <laughs> Maybe. And then actually plague bears aren't bad, I feel like. So yeah, Blazing Squelcher, so they can fire, and then the Festering Stooges can fire their shots, and then they can get reloaded by the Blazing Squelchers for like another shot, maybe. And then we got the Plague Bearers, um... Is this, is this a bad build? I don't know. Sour Guts? Oh, Sour Guts? Um, what even is their Death Explosion anyway? Sour Discharge? Oh, I guess, maybe. Yeah, you know, sure, why not? You can get that, and then... Um, <laughs> oh, can they? That's pretty good. I mean, yeah, I guess it's... Wait, doesn't the... High Elf... Phoenix card kind of have that, or is it, or or is it just the visual? Because I know when they die, they kind of like explode, right? Yeah, they have literally the mark of assuring, which I assume is something similar to that, right? Do they have it? Because I don't think it actually does damage, from what I know, because it's not an ability they have. I feel like they should have that. That's kind of like the whole you know mark of assuring thing. But I'm pretty sure they don't have it. Oh well. Yeah, 72 is pretty good. That is a lot of damage. Uh, 
Um, what else? Can I get another Plague Bear? Maybe. Is the Plague Bear better? I don't know. Yeah, that is true. It can one-shot some models, but I'm not sure how good that is. Oh, wait, actually. What am I doing? There is the obvious super OP unit, the do Changebringers. Maybe I'll bring that. Wow. Um... Uh, but it's also kind of bad for you because... Wait. Because Morker needs you to be really low, right? So you must have been like 20 models or something anyways. I don't know, whatever. Anyway. Yeah, we have... Oh wait, Vianim oh, Vian is here. Okay. We have, I think, two more matches going. And then we'll play whatever else faction that we feel like at that point. Yeah, something like this, great unclean one. I feel like it's still very good. He, you know, if it's not a shooty faction, but against shooty factions, uh, demons kind of lose anyway, so it's the same thing. It's like, you know, against vampires, for example, you definitely want a great uh, unclean one or something. Berserker's build? Oh, I did not because uh, I think I was like doing something else at that time, probably playing another game. But let's see. No, I guess I gotta type turn. Let's take a look. Oh, wow, that took like six hours. Oh my god, that was a long stream. Okay, oop, oh, nope, not that one. Here it is. Berserk. He is pretty good, I know. Uh, Corn. Wow, he's playing Corn, Valkia. Oh yeah, I think I do kind of remember this one. Wait, did Korn win this? Wait, how did Korn win that? Oh yeah, because it was a dragon. Did he play Demons of Chaos? Nurgle, he brought the Sorcerer. Yeah, I know. If they got bows, we basically lose because we got no armor. So, yeah, <laughs> they have bows, and most factions have bows at this point. I got double soul grinder to kill the, uh, to kill the shooties, I guess. Sure, makes sense. Lizardman versus Beastman. Oh, did he win that? He won that, wow. I think Beastmen are pretty weak against Lizardmen, so I'm surprised that he won that. I guess he brought like a, a a build that's like good against a billion shooties or something. Oh, uh, da, 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 that's Norska. Yep, uh, Norska against Elkathe. And then oh, okay, I see. Yeah, the change bringers are very good. I assume he got a bunch of dogs. Obviously, he got some plague guys. Wow, is that his initial army? Okay, yeah, so, oh my god, what is that build? Look at this build! This is- <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, I mean... This kinda makes sense in some ways, because, obviously, uh, demons do have healing, and I'm guessing he brought this guy because he has healing. And then Bloodthirster can kill things pretty well, and got healing. And then, what does that do again? Hold on. He chose this guy, I assume. Probably brought Fleshy Abundance and maybe Rancid, I'm assuming. Uh, what's this? Chance of instant dying. Let's not do that. He got uh, Bloodthirster and this guy. Uh, this guy got Searing Doom, which is pretty good. He got Gehenna's, which I don't think is super good. And Bloodthirster. Yeah, he brought like this and then Sour... And then Sour Guts, which yeah, you're saying he uh, Sour Guts is good. 
I can see why, because he's also bringing it. We got the two of that. He got 200 extra gold somewhere. Ah, oh, that's a weird build, but it won apparently. Bloodthirster Roar. Yeah, he does, but I think he's a bit too expensive, right? With, with this build? Is it? Yeah, it's a bit too expensive. So, yes, it does have 10% ward save, which is pretty good in some situations. It, I think it's only when you're around large targets, which, you know, you are pretty much around it all the time, but I guess it's better to just go cheaper so you can bring more stuff. I assume. Now let me just take a quick look. This is like a meme build. Griffin of Theurgy. And this yeah, why did you bring this guy, a, though? Horseman also chasing them down. And now okay, the um, Horseman. The, Golden the, the, Griffin, Bloodthirster. All squad, of them are but at the same time, a, just a they're also getting shot HP. by so everything I assume. Tim the Wilder has is going to be extinguished. Yeah, but probably. I guess you can heal them as well. Yeah, I guess it's and mainly because of the micro, heal, right? Looks like he mostly escapes from there. A lot of crumbling undead here. Plague bearers and blues are on their way to support, but those catapults are doing uh Huh? <laughs> I'm trying not to like watch this the whole time, but like Yeah, they got some good. And value. then 1800. This is like what you want to see when you watch Warhammer games, right? This is this is what it's all about. Yeah, uh the regiment of renown does have better uh, stats. And change bringer. Uh, but like, even then, I feel like, don't you want to just bring double bloodthirsters at that point? I, I guess it is more expensive, yeah. I guess double bloodthirster is more expensive, so I kind of get it. And there's also barrier. They got also more armor than the bloodthirsters. That's nice. And stats are pretty much the same, oh my god. Bloodthirsters are so weak. Bloodthirsters are so damn weak. And then his reinforcement army was Changebringers, which yeah, I was thinking Changebringers are probably pretty good. Oh god, stop doing that. Changebringers, like A Seeker, a bunch of Hounds, which makes sense. Hounds are pretty damn good. I think he wanted that. that. And then Plague Bears in the later. Okay, yeah, he wants some infantry, I guess. Furies, Nurglings, that, that, that. Something like that, except he has Furies. I don't know, I guess he must have brought just normal ones. And he brought something like this, which is interesting. If you don't build against it, I guess it is hard to kill. Yeah, but like, as you can see, the Bloodthirster and the Golden Griffin has kind of comparable stats. Speed, armor is kind of okay, the, arm, the HP is kind of the same with the barrier. Melee attack is lower and he has higher melee defense. Bloodthirster has more damage but also like, you know, anti-large so that's better damage anyways. But barrier can be kind of really powerful. With 800 extra HP that you can replen. Yeah, it's kind of weird but... <laughs> Hey, if he did it, it might work. Who knows? Okay, one more game to go. And yeah, I don't think I'll bring that kind of build just because I think it requires your enemy to like not expect it at all. And I'm, I'm surprised the Tomb Kings didn't bring like even a Bone Giant because if the enemy brought like, yeah, the... I mean, no, I guess if the Bone Giant gets hit by like the Goon Squad, it is pretty bad. So, that's not the best for him, I guess. Yeah, anyway. That was a fun build, but at the same time, I feel like that's super susceptible to certain builds. Oh, he only got 10%? Wait, is it only 10%? What happened? Why does he only have 10% physical resist? Are they supposed to only have 10%? I do not know. Because demons are supposed to have 20%, right? So how come this guy only has 10%? Does the others only have 10%? No, why? What? What's happening? Wait, why does Vomitus have... Sp Vomitus specifically only have 10%? What is that about? I didn't know that. What's happening here?
Okay, what about Daniel? Now he got 20% too. Everyone has 20% except him for some reason. Why though? And maybe it's like, I don't know, whatever. And oh yeah, you know, remember when Bellacor used to be super good? But now he's like a bit too expensive. Man, uh, Bellacor is cool, but he used to be too oppressive. So I would say, yeah, the cost increase was warranted, but now he's like never used. It does feel kind of sad. Bellacor just never used again. That's okay. That's a healing. That's that's pretty good. Man, even with just these, he's like super. Yeah. Yeah, I know. What is this? Like, every other demon prince has 20%, every demon has 20%, but this guy specifically, CA said, nah, you only get 10%. You get, like, half the amount of physical resist for some reason. Why did that happen? What is this? Yeah, because I'm pretty sure everything else is 20. What? I mean, you know, even then, people would bring him because of the heal anyways, because fleshy abundance is pretty dang good. So, I, you know, I guess it's fine. Man, okay, yeah. So, the games are done, it seems like. So, now we just have to wait for the final. And then we'll be good. Oh, there might be a fifth round, which is, uh, I don't like fifth rounds, but I hope we skip it. Okay, yes, we, we might be getting the four player thing now because they're saying that the fifth round is probably going to get canceled. Good. I hate fifth round. I don't want to play more. I'm tired. Uh, I'm dying as usual. Uh, are we gonna get it? Not yet. I guess he's just like going over the scores a little bit. Yeah, I mean, here you can see, technically there's one match where it's like kind of even, so it'll be one of the, it'll probably be Hitman Hippo, so it kind of feels bad for V anime, but at the same time, I'm just like, I don't want to play more, I'm tired, I'm lazy, get me out of here. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm probably in here, Hitman versus me, and the map is... Creeping Swamp... And then Hitman Hippo. We got this and then we just do that. Yes. Alright, so, Hitman, he does love to troll, I think, or like, what's it called, meme? Because I think he's the one that goes, like, for really weird builds. So, I think we are allowed to be a bit more meme -y. Maybe we can bring Chorps in, like, Dreadquake or something, who knows? One sec. Uh, do, 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 do.
So yeah, um, I'm hoping he'll meme so that I can also meme a little bit. I want to bring a Dreadquake Mortar, if I can. And I want to play demons without, you know, being like, Oh god, I'm gonna get try harder than lose or anything, so... Hopefully, we can have a bit more fun. But man, yeah, that is actual Nurgle, like, discrimination over here. I get that healing is very good, and he's like, a fast unit that can dodge shots, unlike the, uh, Great Unclean one, but like, still, that feels pretty bad. And yeah, let's see, um... That... The stats, that one has better stats, more HP. Uh -huh -huh. How much anti-large does he have? 25? Man, bloodthirsters. What can you do to make them better? I don't know, man. Okay, so, um, my opponent might not be able to make it. Okay, uh, if that's the case... If my opponent can't make it, which seems like that will happen... We can try to spectate the other person, maybe. So yeah, I'm gonna ask for a spec slot, and uh, hopefully we can watch someone because my opponent might not be able to play. Yeah, hopefully, yeah, let's do... Spec slot? Um, escape, I need to go check it out, duh, 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 duh. yeah. Okay, can this fucks up? Uh-oh. Things are happening. I don't think they're gonna make his spec slot, so I might have to ask him to, um... Might have to ask the host to maybe add the anime or something, maybe? Uh... Wait, Crystal Lake? That's not the map. I think it's creeping something, right? Alright, it is creeping swamp. Oh man. <laughs> I hope I don't have to like spend 20 minutes just trying to talk because uh, I got nothing to talk about. As per usual. Were you? Were you? Either that or we might have to fight uh, the anime then.
He says he needs to drop, maybe we're ready okay, then. Okay. Okay, so um, there's a lot of things happening right now. Hippo probably can't make it, so we might be fighting the anime, which, uh, you know, eh, I don't know what the anime is specializing in, but um, oh, he is still here. We might be fighting the anime, because he is still here. Let me just double check a few things, man. Just uh, a lot of drops, unfortunately. I fought in Hulidan, this is the anime. He's the second one, so might be doing it. He's coming. Okay, cool. So, yep, yeah, I'm in there. Okay, so yeah, it'll be me versus the anime now. So, uh, let's see what happens. Okay, yeah. So, um, actually, uh, what's the map? Oh, whoop. Uh, eh, I guess I'll just pick whatever. I don't care too much about the map, I guess. Let's ban Kislev as per usual. And then, we can go Chorfs again. Demons of Chaos. And then maybe I'll go Corn again. I like Corn. As long as he doesn't pick like green skins or anything, I think Corn can do okay. Uh, where's Corn at? There he is. Let's see what he's got. Uh oh, those are kind of good factions. That's not the best for me, but you know, because you know, uh, ogres are actually not bad. I've noticed. Yeah, I have noticed that ogres were actually pretty good, although it might be like a skill thing because my opponent once like beat me really bad with ogres. So that could be a problem for us. Oh, he already got it. Okay. Okay, then um, I think he's on top, so he bans first. Nor is is Norska corn bad for Norska? I swear it's bad for I it's bad for like corn I feel like. Um demons I think can do okay against some of them. Uh Yeah, Ban Ogre Corn. I think Corn Greenskin can be okay. And then Demon Ogre, I don't think will be super good. But I think that'll be okay. Norska. Hmm.
So yeah, I'm thinking maybe Chaos Dwarf against Norska, is that okay? And we have Burning Head, but that's kind of about it. And if he brings the uh, Searing Doom, that is actually pretty bad against us too. Ogres, I think, beat Chaos Dwarves. Greenskins, I think we can do okay, but not the best. Man, none of these seem like a great matchup for us, honestly. And Chaos Dwarf, Norska, Demon's Ogre? Oh. I thought Ogres would be better because they can, like, shoot a lot, but... Okay, that that's okay. And what's bad for me? Corn Greenskins, I feel like I'm okay. Chaos versus Greenskins, I feel like that's okay. Norska, I think, is okay, too. Uh, let's just ban both. Sure. So yeah, we're going to play either Norska versus Demons or Greenskins versus Corn from the looks of it, which I'm not super confident in any of that, but we'll try. We uh, probably flew too close to the sun. He chose some of the stronger factions, and now I'm probably going to die, but, you know, we, we got to the semis. That's, that's good enough for me at this point. Hmm, actually, yeah, what's the map? Creeping Swamp? I don't even... Yeah, we didn't even get to look at it. Okay, that's... Oh, it's this map. Uh, I think we should be okay. We should be okay. Okay, yeah, Green King versus Corn. So yeah, we're going with the usual build. Just, you know, a lot of Minotaurs, a lot of these guys. If he brings a lot of archers, that could be a problem. But as long as my uh, cultists can get in there and kill them, I think that should be okay. We got a lot of these guys. Berserkers. Yeah, get, get rid of the berserkers. Do we want even the horsemen? I don't think we want horsemen that much. Can we get like more other things? Hold on. Maybe some halberds? Because we know that they're going to bring a lot of those like... Big things. Uh, maybe. Man, but they are expensive though, jeez. Oh, maybe we could bring a chariot because... Greenskins do bring a lot of, like, infantry, so if we micro that around, that might be okay. But at the same time, it's kind of like a lot of micro for me to do. You know what? Yeah, let's bring a chariot. And then we can bring... Oh yeah, that, that might be okay. Oh, chosen dual weapons. Oh man, you're really wanting me to lose, don't you? Okay, sure. Can I bring it? Oh my god, that's so expensive, jeez. Oh Jesus, that's so expensive. Okay then, maybe Flesh Hounds. Maybe get that, I guess. And then what's good for 600? Um, maybe a dog just to catch them, but like, I don't have much space. I guess this? Yeah, sure. I mean, the Chosen, if if they don't get, like, surrounded or, like, shot at too much, he's actually they're actually pretty good. It's just that, um... I don't think I'll be able to bring it out and use it well, I'll be honest. Because <laughs> Chosen Dual Weapons, I don't think they're super good. Although, they're not bad either, but, like... No healing. We also have like very little to go for like range, but we'll 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 go with it. Why not? Uh, oh no, that's fine. It's fine. No, no. It, you, you said chosen dual weapon pretty please, so I'm gonna get it. Honestly, 
Honestly, they're not like super bad. It's just that um, if they bring counters to it, it is pretty much going to die. But unless he brings Fanatics, I think they don't get countered too badly. Because even Squigs, like I think they die very quickly to them. Because uh, if you don't know, they actually have a ridiculous amount of damage. Oh, 69. Exactly 69. And like their stats are pretty good. And they got a lot of armor. So it's not the worst, but it's not the best either. <laughs> my internet words no it's fine like i'm doing this for fun today anyway so even if i lose it doesn't matter too much uh if we win though we might have to try hard because it's like the finals so we might go slightly more try hard but who knows i'm dying in many other ways Yeah, that, V anime, and then F pod and Hladen. I'm probably gonna guess Hladen is going for like the dwarf or something, and F pod is I don't know what he would bring. I'll be honest. Oh yeah, da, 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 da. you know what? <laughs> Let's summon the um, what's it called? Oh, actually, I guess this is like a better area because. They have to go through trees and stuff, so let's go something like this. And like do something like that, I guess. Man, if the archers get me though, they're uh, they're gonna kill me. As they do. He's gotta be here, and the Valkyrie's there. Not much to set up here, I'll be honest. Not much to set up. So yeah, one thing I'm afraid of is he'll bring like five orc arrow boys and like two or four like goblin archers because they will kind of wreck me. So I do need to kill them like fast. In fact, how much damage does it do? 60? How much models do goblins have? Let me just take a quick look at how much models that goblins have. I mean HP per model. They got... Oh, they got less than 60, so that might, like, one-shot them. Okay, okay. It is done. Okay, yep, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I'm guessing he also has some stealth ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, sixty, sixty, sixty. He might have, like, one stealth archer from the looks of it, I think. So we'll have to be careful on that. Okay, actually, I think I might need uh, Minotaurs with great weapons because I'm sure he's going to bring the Boar Boys, which might be a problem for me. And honestly, all I need to do is just uh, group things up, use the spear, and then just try to win that way, I think. What does this guy have? Vindictive Glare, of course he does. And then, I guess, Sneaky Stabbing. Oh, he's got... Oh! He's got the, um, don't even try it for some reason. Okay. Don't even try it! Yeah, so our first summon will be Minotaurs, just so we can have some anti-large first. And then we'll do the other things later. What's this? Oh my god, a giant. Okay. A giant. Shh. That's not the best for me, but, you know, he also... Spent a lot of money on a giant, so that's actually not the worst, either. We'll get a Marauder over here, and since he summoned a giant, we actually have a lot better, like, chances now. So, we might actually just go for it. Yeah, because what we need to do is just break through the front line, go to his archers, and then kill him. And I think that's about all I need, I think. Do that, you can be like... That, I guess. Uh, no, that's the speed one. Where's the... that one? Okay. What's he summoning now? Squigs, of course. That's a lot of squigs. Savage orcs. Uh, can I just, like... 
Do a sloth near like down there maybe? No, I think I want to... Okay, luckily the Vindictive Flare didn't do too much damage because we got a lot of armor and some like spell resist so that's not the worst for us. If he brings like a line of goblins, I might just use my spear on it just so he doesn't have as much like uh... Just so he doesn't have as much like buffering with his infantry. And then we can just charge into the back line maybe. Oop, oh god, I'm hitting my things. Ugh. Shield maiden to the slaughter. It is Don't mother. even try it. Execute with haste. Swift. There's savage orc arrow boys. There's some savage orcs as well. And what's that? Okay, Broken Tusk Maws, but like, I think they still lose to Minotaurs of Great Weapons. So I'm mostly fine with that. Yes! Oop, okay, to uh... The the Let's do this, just so I can like kill a bunch of them maybe. Pew! Wow, that's a lot of damage! Oh my god! That was pretty good! Yep, you can go and attack that, you can go and like attack that. You guys can like come in and like do some things here. Okay, more Minotaurs! More Minotaurs! Okay, yes, and then we go in that way. Yep, and then uh, you guys can go that way. I'm gonna come here. We might even just kind of like go for the um, kill a lot of things and then like... Uh, Power of the world. Yep, and then... Um, Cultist of the Blood God. We might just go for the... Uh, what's it called? The other strategy of like... Um, man, I'm kind of dying in... I'm kind of forgetting. The, uh, the, the, the call down, me, me calling down the, uh, sword, that might be the strategy. Oh, and this guy kind of like, ain't doing it. Okay, that's okay. Okay, do that, and then, you know, do that, da, 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 da. Yep, doing that, uh-huh. Get out of there. Um, you guys gotta come back. Yep, uh, I'm gonna just drop a big sword over here. Just to like clear that area. And then just do that. Okay, okay. Uh huh. And then just go over here. Cool, that worked a little bit. And then we just do. Okay, I should have summoned it from the closer one, but that's fine. Yep, we do this. And this guy can try to summon that over here. Come on, summon the guy. I need you to summon him right now. And then we kind of go over here, and then we go over there. Okay, um, you can do that. Sure, that, that. Squigging around. Cool. This and the, the, the. And go around. Da, da, da. You guys can come over here. Cultist of the blood god, over here. He yep, and then we can just come do that again. We got that. We are going to just come here and cap that, I guess. He is doing pretty good at like killing some of my guys, but it's not the worst for me. Save that for now. Yeah, these guys need to come over here as well. 
Got that. Those are savage orcs. But we basically got this uh, back point, so that's good. And we just need another sort of corn at some point, which we will get. Um, we... Okay, I'm gonna summon that. We are kind of doing okay. We killed a lot of his, like, ranged things, so that's good. Yep. We, come on, we hopefully can get this. Yep, nope. Okay, you know what? Yeah, more, more flesh hounds. We do that, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, come on, Valkia, get out of there. Uh, I'm gonna just do this, just so I can, like, clear this out a bit faster, maybe. Yep, and then you guys can just, like, do that. You can come over here and then do this. Yep, and then Spigans, I can just kill that way. And then, oh, he's gonna cap my back point, which is bad, but at the same time... It's not like the worst at the moment. Yep, do that. Um, you and you can do this. You and you can come over and then kill that. Fresh one, I'm gonna go over here. Uh, but if I do this here, I mean, it's not going to do a lot of damage, but I kind of need whatever I can get at this point. And then Chosen, yeah, you know what? Come over here, Chosen. Yep, Savage Arrow Boys, and do that. And these guys can come over here, and then you yeah, can kill that. Kill that. Um, we will get the Hounds at some point later on. Savage Orcs need to need to die. Savage Orcs need to get out of here. Go away. Yep, and then do this. Come over here and kill the Night Goblin, please. And then da da da. Yep, doing that. No, 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 Uh, hmm. I think we can send uh, this in, and that could probably kill everything there. Hopefully. Yep, do that. Come on, let's go. Yep, got that. Biggins are coming in there, which is a problem, but at the same time, it's not the worst thing to happen at the moment. Okay, value-wise, we are losing, but I think we're doing not the worst. That's all I can say. We're doing not the worst here. So yeah, we got that. He's sending in Biggins, okay. Uh, we'll bring in the Berserker guys, I guess. Chosen can come in, do this. Da -da -da. Yep, as soon as my um, dual weapons come in, I think we will win that pretty easily. So that's okay. And then uh, Ber the, the Biggins will probably lose to a 2v1, so that'll be okay as well. And I'm thinking, just bring in like a Marauder at this point. I, I just need some kind of cap at this point. Yes, goblins, get out of here. You're dying. Chosen. The good old Chosen are here. And he's trying to cap that now, so it's going to take a while for him anyways to do that. And we'll just bring that back. Got more squigs, of course. Annoying, but what can you do? I move. Yep, my dual weapons will basically kill everything, so I just need to kill him here. So I'm gonna summon my um my minotaurs at some point, yes. and then yeah, savage orcs. Oh, okay, uh, that's not good.
So we're gonna kill them, I guess. We got the uh, gray weapons there. We're gonna send that in. We got these in. Oh, uh... Okay, I was gonna bring the other guys in, but I guess I need to do that. I kind of need to, so I'll do this. We do this. We got that. Send them in. Okay, and then we do that. Send another one in because he's gonna do that. Come on, guys, get over here and uh, kill them. Then I'll just use the this to get a lot of damage going. That one's kind of dead. That one is not dying, but you know it's fine. Uh, these corn are not doing the best, but you know it's okay. I just need them to do okay at this point, honestly. Yep, do that. Uh -huh. uh, okay, our guys are breaking, which is not good. Uh, more marauders. Yeah, we do have this. My biggins can probably fight those guys. I can do that. I'll just keep doing that that way. I'll send that in and he can just like do that I guess. Uh, do, 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 do we have anything else that's like kind of need to unsummoning? I don't think so. So it should be good. Okay, and then if he wants to do a Kaidi build, and I can just, you know, do it this way, I guess. And oh yeah, I can also just like snipe his lord, and that might give me the advantage that I need. So we'll go with that. I serve the ex-father. The Gore Queen. Yep, got the biggins are dying. Just kill king. that. Kill that and that. Yep, do this and that, and uh, that's gonna be taken. We just need some minos at some point because minos are definitely needed at this point. Yep, and if we can kill his lord, it's basically gonna be good for us. So yeah, uh, these guys go over here and over here. You guys do that. Just kill his lord. Uh, please kill his lord. Yep, do that. You guys can just like weave around and go in. And then, yeah, we can also go here. Uh, you can just chase that down. Oh, we have another sword attack. Yep, do that. He's got some things summoning there, but that's okay. We are just gonna come over here and get him anyways. Uh, what else can we get? Uh, you know what? I'll get more Marauders at this point because I need some cap weight. We just also need to kill that. And then... If I can... Oh, get a thing here. Oh yeah, and I can also like use my shield. That's good. Yep, we're doing that. Okay, cool, cool. Kill the Savage Orcs a little bit. And then we got this, yes, yes. Yep, if he's chasing my dogs, that's a good thing because he basically won't be um, getting anything for a while, so that's fine with me. Yep, and uh, that was broken because I think his lord, did his lord die? I uh, wasn't paying attention, I guess his lord died. So yeah, we got this basically on lockdown. So we just need to yeah, keep chasing that, we just need to kill these guys and then chase down those boars. And I think we got it. Ah, uh, maybe. Yeah, these guys have a lot of HP but they're like routing, which is great for me. Yep, these uh, those very expensive boar boys are kind of just following that around. Which, hey, I, I, I like that, that's a great thing for me. Okay, and then what else can I do? Uh, that one is basically gone. Cool. And then you can stay here for now, and then you can attack that, I guess. Along with that, uh, that, and this, and this, attack. 
yeah, that's chasing that off for free, essentially, which is great. Uh, chase that back. Okay, cool, cool. This is on defense. Cool. And then, you know, if you want to do, like, a running away thing, that's fine. We'll just kill these guys and then just, you know, barrel over. Uh, we need some dogs. Get some dogs in here. Got that. I don't think he's summoning anything there. I mean, he's got squig hurt, but that's fine, mostly. Okay, and then we got the great weapons and that. Uh, Minos are gonna do whatever, I guess. Uh, okay, uh, he's gonna come here, so I'll do this. That's right. Uh, okay, he's charging through. Okay. Charging through, but that's fine. We'll just, you know, surround him and kill him and stuff. That's fine. But yeah, now that he's like literally in the middle of my army, that should be good. Okay, now I can also use this horn to get some more damage going in. And we can also do this to probably wreck them. Okay, yeah. We did it! Corn did it! <laughs> uh, yeah, luckily for us, he brought a giant, which I get I get that giants can be good, but if you don't have healing, he just kind of dies to a Minotaur pretty easily. Although he did get 1,000, so that's okay. This guy, Regiment of Renown Boar Boys, I don't think it's super good. And yeah, luckily Minotaurs are indeed very good at killing. If you don't shoot them, they just kind of roll over everything. And I think we sniped this Lord and therefore he had a leadership debuff as well. So, uh... Yeah, that went pretty good. He summoned this twice, so that was good for us. His arrow boys did okay. Wow, one of them got 1,500. What is this? How'd that happen? Uh, that, that's fine, I guess. He got squig hurt riders too? Okay. Hmm? Oh. DW? What's DW? Hold on. Uh, that's that. Oh, dual weapons got 15. Got... This one didn't do much. That, 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 uh, I'm talking... I'm thinking you mean this one, right? I mean... Yeah, so... He... The dual weapon basically paid for itself and was like still at like 70% HP. So he could have got a lot more kills too. So actually... Your suggestion of the dual weapon was pretty good because he was like my anchor at the late game because nothing could kill it. He just kept sending things at it, but um, he just kills everything. So that was a good anchor piece for me at the at the late game. And the Minotaurs, you know, they some of them didn't get their value back, but they're pretty good. The dogs are dogs. They just speed. And yeah, that's about it. Hooray, we did it. Corn did it. What is he again? Green skins and I was corn. We were corneo. Oh, we're against Haliden. Okay. Uh, does Haliden have a thing? Yes. Oop, wait, wait. How's it not one, two, three? Yeah, there we go. Oh, is Haliden streaming or something? Hey, yo. What's map look like? And then I can decide what I want to do. Do, 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 do. The last map is Altar of Champions. I have no idea what that looks like. Two Mortars Cannon in Reserve. Uh, Rusty, if you are still here, sorry, I was like doing some other stuff. Uh, what do you mean two mortars and cannons in reserve? 
Because I, I guess I played like Vampire Coast once, but I don't think anyone else has like two mortars or anything like that. Oh, this one. I know the Altar of Champions. Okay. I know that. Whoop, what is this? Whoop. Whoop. Oh, wait, is it Global Man? Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They obviously were banning Kislev. Get that out of here. And then, um. I guess we can go corn again. I'm liking corn so far. But if he goes dwarves, I guess that's not the best for me. Eh, but I'll go corn. Let's go corn again. I'm loving corn. And then we can go demons again. And then. Okay, what's good? What's good with this map? Because this map has like a big thing on the middle, so the shooting is kind of limited. And then, yeah, I guess demons. And then, what else was our weak faction again? Hold on, what was there? Wasn't there a weak faction? Okay, yeah, so corn. Uh, we did demons. I think Vampire Coast is a bit too weak, honestly, for me. So, uh, what's good against dwarves? I know he likes dwarves. Uh, I think Chaos Dwarves is weak against them. Uh, you know what? Grand Cathay, maybe. Grand Cathay is kind of good against dwarves, right? Maybe? Okay, yep. So, he's going for the super shooty range factions. So, it's... Grand Cathay, Demon, and Corn against Dwarf, Grand Cathay, and Shorf. I'm gonna say I do hate these kind of factions that are like very sit back and shoot you, so. This might not be the best for me. I'm going to just probably rush in and die. I would not be surprised at that. Okay, that and then... Um, oh god, I did something. I did something. Okay. The first ban is me. Okay, so... Ban... Chorf versus... Wait, no, that's his Chorf. Ban... Uh... Grand Cathay versus Grand Cathay, I guess. I don't want to deal with that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh no, uh, yeah, I mean Vampire Coast. We are playing the worst factions this stream, so we did play one Vampire Coast, but I don't think I want to play it again. But I mean, there's two dwarfs, but Cathay has very similar playstyles, okay? They are basically the same. They are basically the same. Although, yeah, Grand Cathay does have worse cap weight, so maybe we do want to fight Grand Cathay just so we can, like, uh, just so we can out cap him and maybe beat him that way. I don't know, maybe. Oh god, I gotta go to wash him soon. Okay, so yeah, um, Dwarf versus, yeah, that would be bad for him, and then Chaos Dwarf versus Grand Cathay, yep. Because obviously Grand Cathay is the only thing that's really strong against them. And yeah, Dwarves I don't want to deal with, I'll be honest. Although... Minotaurs are still Minotaurs. Minotaurs are still Minotaurs against Dwarves. Oh, actually, if I go corn versus dwarves, maybe I can bring the um, maybe I can bring the juggernaut just so that we can have some fun with it. Maybe. Uh. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm also like. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. But like, they have certain changes and differences that we have to consider. So I think Grand Cathay is okay for us to fight. Dwarf, we can go dwarf versus corn and stuff. So. Grand Cathay. No, Chorf is not that strong either. Chorf Corn is not good for me. And then Chorf Demon is also not the best for me. Uh, Chorf Demon maybe? Yeah, sure. Get rid of that. 
And get rid of that. Basically. Yeah, I mean, Corn versus Chaos Doors, they have like fire resist and magic, so you don't want to deal with that. Yeah, yeah, the Skullcrusher's Regiment are renowned. If we fight the Dwarves, I'm going to bring that in and uh, see what it can do. It's not going to be the best, I'm sure, but like, we also have certain cover, like, I think we spawn here-ish. So if I stay behind the pillar, do some attack, hide in the trees and stuff like that, I should be okay. Maybe. Perhaps. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, yeah, so, uh, if we go corn versus dwarf, that's the plan. Hold on, oh, he's banning dwarf versus corn, okay. So yeah, um, dwarf versus corn, he's banning dwarf versus demons? Oh, he just wanted to play against, like, he just want to play Grand Cathay, I guess. Okay, so, what do we do here? Um, in this map, I guess corn might not be the worst. Although he can shoot me a lot. Hmm. Okay, let's go corn versus Grand Cafe then. Corn versus Grand Cafe, we play. So yeah, I'm playing a lot of corn today, but you know, that's fine. I like corn. <laughs> yeah, get get out of here, Berserker. Um, other than that, what do we want to even do? Maybe more Minotaurs. <laughs> more Minotaurs! Can I get like... Something else? Okay, against Grand Cathay, do we want some Furies just to have something in the anti-air? But like... The freaking Chromen are better than us too. Uh Man, I hate how Fury's got like nerfed so much. Yeah. The Furies are so weak for compared to the Chroman that I'm not even sure if I want to bring Furies right now. Although I guess it is better to bring at least one, right? I don't know. The Minotaurs, I mean, they can kill the infantry, I guess, but, yeah, And they're still pretty good, either way. Yeah! Let's go with this, maybe. Can I get that? I cannot- oh my god, 50 gold difference? Ah! You know what? Yeah, let's get rid of that Minotaur. We can bring a Fury, and then another this guy. And then... Yeah, maybe more infantry. I don't know. Yeah, let's just go with this maybe and then that that that. Oh man, I'm I'm indecisive right now. What what do we bring? Maybe a dog? I think the Forsaken of Corn isn't bad, honestly, so maybe we'll bring one. I know a lot of people don't think they're good, but maybe we'll bring it, but or maybe is Bloodletter better? 
Because we do need some armor piercing against their like Jade Warriors. So, hey, you know what? Yeah, let's go with that. We'll have one blood letter for the Jade Warriors. We got A Fury to kind of help with the f uh, crows a little bit. And then we got the Valkia that can like fight honestly pretty well there anyways. Yeah, let's do that. So yeah, we'll play we're playing a lot of corn today, and as shown, if you just bring a lot of Minotaurs, corn can win. And that's the only way corn wins, unfortunately, but Hey, we're doing it. We are doing it. Hmm. Stats are definitely better. They got regen, essentially. So if they fight like a Jade Warrior or Jade Cavalry, they basically will win at like most health, so they're good. Bloodletters can kill infantry, but like we also have like a lot of Minotaurs that can kill infantry. So maybe we just want more Furies? Just because there's going to be a lot of like Chromen, I'm sure. Yeah, you know what? Let's go for way more Furies. Because I know there's going to be a lot of Crossbowmen. And they're gonna be annoying, so let's just do that. You know what? Now, now. Chroman will kick our butts. I know they do because. Hold on, let me just double check. Furies, Chroman are like 100 more expensive. They got way higher melee defense and way higher leadership. They got magic damage. Weapon strength is kind of the same. Fury basically goes away immediately too. Yeah. It's because their melee defense is so much higher too. Uh, yeah, more Minotaurs will be better, I think. Yeah. I'll let the Furies run amok, but we do need more Minotaurs. Angle on the spell? Oh, Rusty, are you like looking at a, a previous game? I don't know which game you're looking at. Remember was Lizardman? Angle of that spell was pretty sus? I'm trying to think, was there any spell? I mean, is it like Vindictive Glare maybe you're talking about? I don't know what you're going on about. So yeah, obviously, um, we do need to kind of like capture in a way that allows us to um, avoid the missiles as much as possible. But if he just sits here, he can just kind of shoot that way and like that. So I'll have to go with these points, I'm pretty sure. I'll just send like a unit over here and try to defend this one. Maybe even go in the trees here to just like defend myself a bit and like uh, bog him up. That's probably the best idea. So yeah, one Marauder is going to go all the way over there. And then the rest are just going to um, go in and uh, take it and then defend it and all that jazz. And our Minotaurs just need to be safe and then we'll just do this and then I am ready. So yeah, that's it. We'll take the point, maybe even fight here, because if he has cannons, then it'll be like really hard to hit things with these trees. And then one uh, unit will go there, and then that one I'll just say, yeah, let him have it, unless he like really pushes in, then I might like flank over there. But for now, I think that'll be a okay strategy. So yeah, hopefully we win this, and then we can say we won two tourneys with corn essentially. Because uh, good old corn, he's not super good, but he's not the worst either. Go in, and then you go in here that way. 
And he's got oh the Moonbird, okay, Xiao Ming, and Crane Gunners. Okay, Crane Gunners. And he's not going that way, so I'll just maybe even bring like one over here. Yep, Xiao Ming, he's got Dragon Breath and Final Transportation, okay. So yeah, just gotta be careful of Final Transportation. Oh, what happened here? They, they kind of like moved around there a bit. Yep, and he's transforming, which means he can only use Breath for now, so we don't need to worry about the other things too much. He's got Chroman, who would have guessed. Crane Gunners are going over there. It is my will. Do that. Da, 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 da. Now is our time. I serve the axe father. Yep. Land down, please. Get out of there. Yep. Yeah, we can just try to be in the trees. And then we can go here and there. And then the infantry can go over there. We'll get, we'll get that, and then uh, we can get some Minotaurs. Some more Minotaurs, I mean. And yeah, um, crows are crows. You know, what can you do about them? Yep, do that. And then uh, we are fighting in the trees. Okay, and then we can do a little spear this way. And then we're gonna just, uh, you know, do that and then run away now. And, uh, yeah, we are taking some damage, but it's not the worst thing to happen. But in fact, Xiao Ming is kind of, like, pushing forward. So we might be able to just, like, snipe him out if we can. He is basically gonna lose, because Xiao Ming is a super important lord. So, yeah, if he gets stuck here... I mean, even if he uses Final Transportation here, it's not, like, the worst for me, because if I kill him, it doesn't matter too much. Yeah, I mean, now he's getting, like, anti infantry by us, so honestly, that's fine for me. Yeah, let's do that. Yep, do that. Oop. Yep, do that. Honestly, if his lord dies, that's, like, still worth it for me. So we are gonna try to kill him. And then... We can also summon some extra things. Yes, yes. And we got that, and we'll do this. Oh. The cannons are there, okay, cool. And then we just need to kill Xiao Ming. And now that he's not in dragon form, he basically will die. And that is very good for me. Yep, uh, we just need to kill him. And then we basically got this one. Yep, I'm going to chase after that guy. So, yep, we'll do this. Duh, duh, duh. His lord is basically dead, and it's like a 2,000 cost or something lord, so... It's not like he can summon it back anyways. So that's good, and then you can get out, get into the air, and then maybe... Oh, yeah, you can fly. And then we can just do all the shooting in the world. More Minotaurs! More Minotaurs, baby! Skulls and slaughter! Rage guides me! Yep, they are all losing a little bit over here. Cool, cool. We're just kind of steamrolling a little bit. That's good. Oh god, she's getting shot, but you know, that's that's mostly fine. Yeah, he's got the crows and all that coming in. That's annoying, but you know, whatever. We are still kind of winning here. Yep, you guys need to come over here and kill that, I guess. And then, yeah, come over here. Duh, duh, duh. You'll do that. Yep, and we're doing that. He uh, basically left that alone, so that's good. We need some hounds coming over, I guess. Yep, and 
Yep, uh... And of course he's going for the billion bird strategy, but I think we're doing okay enough that, uh, we should be fine. Yep, doing that. Cool, cool. Do that and that. You and you can go over there. Or did I not come over there? And then, yeah, Valkyrie can just chase over those guys. And do that. And then do that. Yep, just uh, hide in the trees a little bit. And then do that. Okay, good. That, that cannon is missing a lot, which is great for me. And then, um, yep, do that. Uh, he's got obviously a lot of um, annoying things, but it's not the worst for me at this moment. Oh wait, oh god, the crane gunners came back. That was a big mistake on my part. The uh, crane gunners came back. The queen. The crane gunners came back, but that's routing, cool. And we just need to kill that bird, so that the terror route stops, and then we got this. And then, um, you know, yeah, I guess I'll just kill the cannon crew this way, that's fine. Yep, okay, sure, and the Minotaur's gonna kill the Crane Gunners, that's good. We got this, and then, um... Uh, yeah, honestly, if we're ahead of uh, Cathay in value, we should be doing okay. Yep, I hate these dang Chromen, but hey, what can you do, am I right? So yeah, we got that done. You know what? Uh, since you're doing that... Okay, yep, doing that. Since he's doing that, I guess we can just like push him in. Why not? And since he wants to do that so badly, I'll just push in. And then he can just like, you know, face the consequences of uh, his actions. Yeah, go in, we got this, and uh, da, da, da. Yep, do that. Uh, she's still okay. And then my idea now is if I can get the uh, enough kills, I should be able to get the the falling down thing. In the area, anyways. You know what? Just go in there. Get out of there. You guys are coming in. And then, uh, sword of corn here. Just so I can, like, kill all those, like, halberds, and then that should be good. Bazinga. Cool. And now we just, you know, do the other things. Yep, and now we just go back to the trees. We're going back to the trees! I think he's chasing my lord, which, hey, if you want to do that, I'm fine with that, because I'll just bring you over here. And yeah, we triple captain for a very long time as well, so I think... I believe this is over. Okay, now, all of you, get out of here, to the trees! I know he's cannoning my lord. But, um, I just need to pay attention and, like, you know, not let that get hit. And that's about it. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, and those are the Onyx? Yeah, the other Chromen, I see. Whoop, oh god, the Minotaurs are dying, but, hey, it's not, it's not that bad. Yeah, let's pull in like about here-ish. Yep, do that. Okay, yep, the cannons are uh, getting stopped, luckily. And we can summon in more flesh hounds because uh, that also does a lot of other help with me too. 
Oop, okay, um... I can kind of guess what he's gonna do here, so... Yep, I mean, you know, that's good damage on my Marauders, but that's not the worst for me. And if he brings the... Uh, oh, he's gonna, yep, he's gonna come over here and do that, so I just need to bring them over here. Oh. Oh, wow, the Moonbird came in. That's annoying, but hey, uh, as long as, you know, I kill that Moonbird later on, that's fine with me. Oh, oh god, my Lord died. That's not the best, but hey, that's fine. We just need to kill that. Okay, yeah, he bombed us. That's annoying, but... As I say, not the worst. Not the worst. Yep, okay, yeah, there we go. Yeah, the only reason that uh, I kind of killed him is because his lord got way too cocky and got stuck into like a billion minotaurs. And uh, of course, he still got final transportation on, which gave him a lot of value, but I killed his lord. It's pretty much over by that point. He he lost like a 2,000 lord immediately, so that's kind of why he lost. Yeah, we did it. We did it. Corn prevails, baby. Corn. Corny corn. Yeah, we did it. Hooray. Okay, yeah. Other than that, you know, obviously, uh, again, the only reason I won is because corn minotaurs are kind of ridiculous. They're very good. But at the same time, they're the only really good unit in corn roster other than flesh hounds who have been nerfed a lot and the cultists who have been nerfed a bunch but still summons are pretty good. Valkyas are also pretty good. Now, if the rest of the army can be, you know, decent with the melee defense reduction being removed, I think corn can be very good, like around mid-tier at least. So, yeah. Hopefully that gets added sometime. Uh, other than that, yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, the tourney's over. Bye-bye.